Your home is your empire. Protect it with Empire Fence. Get a free instant quote with the online estimating tool at empire-fence.com. See an upfront estimate with no hidden fees. An Empire Fence can provide privacy and improve the appearance of your home. Keep kids and pets in or out of your yard. Increase security and add value to your property. Visit empire-fence.com now to view the stylish and maintenance-free possibilities for your home and get a free instant online quote. Let Empire Fence protect your empire. It's getting nicer outside, but it's still hit or miss in the spring on golf weather. Not at Double Eagle Golf. You're home for always 72-degree weather and no wind. Book a bay with some friends for a weekend or come by for golf and happy hour on a weekday. Spring leagues are underway, but stay tuned for info on indoor golf tournaments and book your bay for the Masters in April. That's all at Double Eagle Golf inside the Kinetic Sports Complex on West O Street. Online at DoubleEagle.Golf. At Weedman Lawn Care, the term care in our name is more than part of our title. It's the heart of our company culture. If we don't care and support our team members, how can we expect them to care for you and your lawn? As evidenced by Weedman's five-star reviews online, we consistently show our sincere care for our customers' needs. And we absolutely care for the communities we serve by donating to local schools, baseball fields, food banks, and the Ronald McDonald House. Go to Weedman.com now. Our caring culture will give your family the lawn it deserves. Gainet Trucking is hiring CDL Class A and B drivers. Gainet Trucking guarantees a 40-hour work week year-round. And their strong team culture makes it not a job, but a career. Gainet Trucking offers health, vision, and dental insurance, 401k with company match, an employee assistance program, and other bonus programs. Build a better career today with great team culture at Gainet Trucking. Learn more and apply today at gainatrucking.com. Wake up, Lincoln. Come on, it's 6 o'clock. Rise and shine, rise and shine. It's time for Early Break. Brought to you by Gaina Trucking. Live from Lincoln, America. Here's Jake Sorensen. Did seem kind of meh. Husker Online, Steve Sipple. Surprisingly good. And longtime college football assistant coach. Bill Bush. I want to buy a couple ducks. I'm bringing two ducks down to the office. This is Early Break. Good morning. That is right. It is Early Break on the ticket. Full show ahead. Great show lined up for you guys. Nick Sanders still filling in. For Jake Sorensen this morning, only five days remaining in the uh, fill-in time period. <laughs> don't if, count for, it down. For those easy, that are counting easy. it down. You don't, you don't know that. You don't know that. You, you're here until Jake. I'm here until you, Wednesday. You don't know that for sure. Jake might need extra time. I, I cannot give him extra time. It'll be somebody else that will be with you because guys. What's happening? Wait, wait, what's going, why can you not be here Thursday? Tell us what's I, going I cannot, on. I cannot be here Wednesday. And hey, why? I, well, I have to go out of town. Where? To Scottsdale. I have oh to go to Scott. I do. Things are paid for. So this is things so, got tense right off so, the bat. <laughs> so it's a social outing. You're missing for a social outing. Um, There's no work. I, I suppose you could call it a social outing. I, I, I don't know if I would categorize it as a social outing. But I'm immediately I'm uncomfortable. Yeah. Why? I too. I'm just telling you that they, uh, they, they, they s- who's they Jake and, and, and his wife, they, they've been planning this for, for months, for months. And Jake is fully aware of of the time crunch that we are on. Hmm. So, so all, what sudden, would we do? all of a sudden, Jake and Elizabeth had to have the baby fit into your schedule. That's, that's not true at all. That's basically, that's, what it, that is not true said. at all. If Jake we'll needs do, more we'll time, do the show. I'll run the board. If if Jake needs more time, I'll run the board. It's then there will there will happily we'll be bring somebody we'll have, other than Big Swim. We'll have Josh Thrills. Okay. Yes, we'll do Josh. That, that, that sounds like a great I'll show. I'll run the board. Josh does the thrills. Wait a second. Josh is is highly capable. Could Josh of running. sit there? Absolutely. Could you run that? Yes. Oh, we're, we're fine. Josh is we're fine. fine. We're fine. We're self sufficient. Yeah. yeah. We you guys are just yeah. fine without me. I get no. I'm, I'm not just a, saying I'm that. I'm just a small cog. I'm not saying that. Don't take it personally. What do they think? Good thing about swim is you never take never get sensitive. That's the best. Oh, thing. I'm not. I'm not taking it personal at all. I <laughs> trust me. We are. We are good to go. Yeah. Okay, let's just worry about today. Oh, um, let's just stay in the moment. Stay in the moment. <laughs> Please stay in the moment. Let's stay in the moment. We have a show to do. We're we, here. We do. Uh, four, here we are. Four six four five six eight five. The Honda Lincoln Hotline and the Starter Heyman Text Line. 
Uh, he's just having to trouble with change, I can tell. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. He's having trouble with this change and then the potential for more change. <laughs> more change. I just don't like calm down. Yeah, I'm not a change guy. Hey, can you please calm down? <laughs> like, what do we got? Okay, so here, here's not this, guys. Line. Real quick. Are those? Are those? Those are mine. Nice. Blue. He's got blue readers. Mm-hmm. Were those Eight. more than 25? No. no. Same, same price. Really? Buck and a quarter. Somewhere in the south. Buck and a Part quarter. Town. No. <laughs> oh, AG God. has green ones. AG. I'm on green. I'm just gonna say right now, AG's glasses are a lot nicer than these. Probably. He's got he's he has he has better taste. I think those are designed for gamers. Are they? Is yes. that right? Mm-hmm. Screen they, they they react to the, the screen. The blue pro- light. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. That could be. No, they They're, they I, look he lo- looks really good on him. Really does. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so I, we mentioned we're, we're not, I mean, I don't consider myself a big hockey guy, and I, this is idle chit-chat, so That's I think fun. this is a time to, to bring it up. Okay. The Lincoln Stars, Okay. they beat Waterloo again last night, six <laughs> to at one Waterloo. at Waterloo to win the series. The six-seeded Lincoln Stars advanced to the next round of the Clark Cup playoffs by defeating the three-seed Waterloo. In Waterloo. In Waterloo. That's incredible. Also, they said they gave up no goals in the in the first game, right? Yep. Swim. You're and right. One in this game. So the goalie is on fire. It's on a heater. As you He's on say. a heater. Yes. A tough guy in goal. So now, so now they they advance to, to play the uh, Sioux City Musketeers. The Musketeers are real, though. I'm yep. You, I, I've I grew up watching them. Oh yeah, <laughs> but I grew up watching the Musketeers. I did seriously. Pender and Ned, Sioux City is very close. Was, they, on channel on, on Channel Nine News, they always had an update on oh, the Musketeers. I watched kidding. it every day. You're being serious, you're dead serious. Oh yeah, the well, Musket. They, yeah, they've been playing hmm. that long. Oh yeah. absolutely, and yeah, the Musketeers is a big deal. Musketeers have been playing since the seventies, sixties or seventies. Yeah. Yes. Oh yeah, it's on incredible. Channel Nine. On Channel Nine. <laughs> That's Whoa. amazing. Yes. So how about God this? Bless you. Just did Ron, no, no, no. did Ron take an active interest? No, zero. <laughs> really? Yeah, no, that wasn't his deal. So Sharon? No. No, she didn't. Or Lincoln's the Lincoln Stars advance Friday at 7:05 p.m. and Saturday at 6:05 p.m. Lincoln hosts the Sioux City Musketeers. Oh, how is how for that? the first two games? I'm guessing it's a format of like two, three, two potentially. Oh, so we're into a seven we're... potentially. Okay. I should, I should have time. I should have I should have looked this up a little bit more. But playoff time. But playoff time. Lincoln gets the first two games of the season, series. Game one Friday at seven oh five. Game two Saturday at six oh five at the Ice Box. Lincoln Stars versus Sioux City. The Musketeers tickets go on sale noon today. How about this? They'll Fif- sell out in in twenty minutes. Fifteen dollar tickets. Mm. Fifteen dollar tickets for the general public to go see some playoff hockey. Mm. That's good hockey. Okay, keep us abreast on that. And the team's been here. Yeah. Team's been here numerous times. Icebox is a great yeah. spot to watch the game. If, have you ever been to a Lincoln Stars I've game? I've covered them. Okay. For the Lincoln Journal Star. Star. Gotcha. Two. Back back in the day. Two. Yeah. yeah. I've covered two. It was hard. I, Dave Bill, it was not easy. I didn't know what I was doing. Now, don't say, well, you don't know what you're doing in football either. But, <laughs> no, but uh, <laughs> here's the hard part about when 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 you see a team, just say it's, say it's just, you know, college football, whatever – basketball you just look at a team sometimes you go look at them and just go when they came out like you're watching UConn play basketball you're like going that, that oh, that's a pretty good looking team you look when 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 all of a sudden you see like the Blackhawks skating around and then you also have the uh, Detroit skating around it's like who's the better looking team I don't know they look exactly oh. the same they look the same when they they're just watching them on the ice same. you don't you're, you don't look at a team see and you go like okay I see this I see this no you don't see that not necessarily you don't know that and, and the game can be going then you zero, see it zero, a little bit. So in a zero zero first first uh first quarter, you're kinda like, I have no idea who the one seed of the eight yeah. seed is. I have no idea. No, I wouldn't. They either. could change jerseys, you'd have no idea. The only thing you kind of see is speed. You can see So there's speed. a difference. There's a difference in yeah. talent. There's yeah, that's why people are high draft picks. That's why yeah, yeah, that's why people are in the Hall of Fame, all those things in talent. But you don't see it as much. Listen to us talking hot. Well, it, it is hockey. it is fascinating because back when, when I was in high school. In the olden days, um, you're 22 yeah, years that, old. That was like about I, that was like a year and a half ago. It was, it was five years ago. I'm 23 now. Running Run amigos. amigos. Um, <laughs> we we had somebody that went to Pius who was on the Lincoln Stars, and it was fascinating the fact that this dude moved from Canada to come to Lincoln, Nebraska, gets paid you know whatever amount of money to play for the Lincoln Stars, goes to school, and it was just like, yeah, I'm just here until I go to Boston College next year. Oh, cool. And the, it was, uh, it, it's just crazy, just cool, kind of the 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 behind the scenes part of it, yeah. where these are these are 
high school guys. Yeah, they're high school. This, that are, this you know, had to be really hard on on the guys at Pius. Because this guy had the, the girls had I me mean, all of a sudden this guy's a hockey player from Canada moving into town. Yeah, he's <laughs> headed to Boston College. Headed to Boston College. Life's going pretty good for him. Yeah, sorry about that swim. Yeah, I, was, I, 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 sorry, I, I came was, out just fine. We're good. Yeah, we're, yeah you did come out well. Okay. I, I, did he go to prom? I cannot remember. Can we? Can we, we could research. You've erased that. it from your memory. I would love All, to. Yeah, you erased only, it. The only thing he I remember is the that dance contest. The, the only thing I remember <laughs> was that his name was Wyatt. I don't remember Wyatt. Wyatt. any any Badass. part about him. Any any other thing about him? All right, quick change. I, I got a cuisine question. A cu- cuisine cuisine about the quiche? No. Um, this is a question. I didn't see that the flags painted. On the you building. saw it. Oh yeah, I wouldn't check it you out. Saw I saw it. The yeah. flag is the, painted. It's painted on. And it's restaurante. It's restaurante. It's you quiche. saw it. Yeah, in Guatemala, one hundred. Quiche. Yes, quiche. Are you saying quiche or quiche? Quiche. Quiche restaurante. It's a restaurante. Okay. On twenty seventh and O on the uh, uh, we're gonna northeast. The north. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, it is. North, the northeast. northeast, 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 northeast oh, right. It connected to the hotel. They, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they put it in. They, that, that, that hotel. They put it in for the street racers on O Street. <laughs> they, like get hungry. Street. they get hungry. And so they want to stop and get a quiche. <laughs> and that's where they go. We're, we're talking about the little the egg. Egg. <laughs> we, uh, assume, we assume. Souffle uh, type thing. Yeah, we've not it's been Guatemala. in there. We're going in. It's Guatemala. I do a lot of good things there. <laughs> yeah. There's a taco truck that sits outside on 27th and O as well. Okay. Now, I do have, have you a- ever stayed in that hotel? So, uh, yeah, I had a uh, when I was in college, a, a girl named Jody poured a drink on my head. In that, I, I don't want to get into why, but she poured a drink over my head. I, at I always the hotel? That, yeah, in the hotel. I, I always remember that hotel for that reason. I was stunned. I was like, okay, you, I did but, something wrong. So I did. You stayed there. Something, something, <laughs> something probably started. She, it, it did. It, it did, did. But it was, it, but I think she overreacted because I'd never had that. Was the only time in my life I had. A drink poured over, over my head. head. Yeah. Is that the is that the hotel on twenty seventh and O? Does anybody know the name of the hotel? Back then, I think it was a different name. This was nineteen eighty eight or eighty seven. Probably I was in college. Okay, it's a great hotel. Yeah, it's been yeah. there forever. Is now, it- I, can I can I get to my cuisine question? <laughs> it's got yeah. a nice little drive. Uh, this, yeah. is drive a good, this is good. This is this actually. I, hmm. I'm setting myself up for embarrassment, maybe. What do you guys do with chicken pot pies? Do you leave them in the foil or do you flip them out on a plate? We'll leave them in the foil 100. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. 100. Uh, yeah. Really? Yeah. You don't flip it out. No. Yeah. Now, if you get the mega, the, the like Sam's Club has a pot pie, size. which is yeah. incredible. That one, you're going to more like a serving out. You know, you don't flip it because it's a big one, but you would take it out. Yep. To be able yeah, to eat it. Yeah, but you if, like spatula it, but if, it's out. The, if it's the oh, personal spatula, out. spatula out. but if it's the personal size, oh, no. tin foil stays. It also provides this kind eat of eat it right out of like a bowl. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. It also it also provides like a, a kind of a, a backboard to be able to scoop stuff up. The oh, tin foil. Oh god, yeah. you guys are smart. But uh, see, I, I flipped it on a plate and I thought, oh, I could have just eaten it out of the tin foil. Yeah, I would eat it out of the tin foil. I don't I'm not mad okay. at you though. All right. I'm not like gonna lose my mind over this. Yeah. It, yeah. it would it would have stunned me when you did it though, I would have been taken back for a second. I'm like, whoa, whoa, what are you doing? And then you explain it to me, and I'd probably have been okay with it. Yeah, Dustin out so, Lake Alfred, Florida says always leave the individual pot pie in the tin. Okay. Always, always stay in leave the tin. it in the yeah. tin. Well, could you imagine this one back in our day? So remember back when the old school tin tin Swans TV dinner you put in the oven? It took about what fifty minutes. Took forever. Yes. Can you imagine <laughs> taking it out and just. And flipping the whole thing out. Imagine that. Salisbury no. steak. Yeah, Salisbury steak in a, in a, in a, in a, in a cherry, cherry cobbler. In a cherry cherry cobbler. cobbler. Oh my God, the cobbler what is was good. Cobbler. It was so good. It was good. so good. The Salisbury steak was good. It, everything was good. Yeah. From where? Uh, it was it, just it, TV dinner. TV dinner oh, with gotcha. swans. Swan. And and we ate there, the same there was, thing. There was no microwave. So you made it in the oven. It took, yeah. about, it took about an hour. Yeah. You look at it, and then you always had to peel one part back. Remember? Yeah. Like, like with a cobbler. Just, just, you had to, you, you yeah. peeled it back. Give you instructions. I had to peel it back. Your mom would put it in the oven. No, my mom was working. See, the only time we would eat it was my mom was a nurse. And my when my dad was taking care of us, we'd always have TV dinners. It was fun. Yeah, oh, it was incredible. Yeah. That was excitement when it's like one of the TV dinner. How about, the, how about the two pieces of chicken? <laughs> it yes. Kind of. I, Bill, I'm telling you, the Salisbury Salis- steak was really the, good. That's the one I want. My favorite was the turkey dinner with the stuffing below it. That was the best. <laughs> that, that was, was really good. good. Oh, it was so good. Surprisingly good. Yeah. But the best part was is that it took an hour when you, you got ready. It was in the oven. There was mm-hmm. no microwave nope. at that time. 
No, and you wouldn't want to microwave it. No. And you don't want to microwave a pot pie, although they give you that option. Swim. We I lost agree. swim. We lost no, swim. No, I'm here. I'm, sometimes I'm, I'm here. you get distracted time. like that, and you have to go. I was looking up one time of a, of a current day individual pot pie. Because I I don't oven I don't make the the frozen ones anymore. Mm-hmm. It's it's usually a, we'll, we'll make a homemade one. Oh oh wow oh and and we'll make the entire good. thing. Yeah yeah. To where we spatula it out as okay. we discussed. You spatula out. Yeah. Not flip it. Yeah. No, because you don't need to flip the entire thing. There's, there's that's just no reason. That's a for great that. question, Steve. So all right. Um, idle chit chat. We, we got we got a couple of reactions on the on the text line four six four five six eight five. Joe and Boulder says Salisbury Steak TV dinner was the best. Oh, it's really good. It's really good. Um, the gravy. Yeah. Twin Bing says the tin keeps it warm. Uh, Twizzler says leave pot pies in the trash where they belong. That's not true. That's not true. Um, this time of year, they're really good. JP was says it's, it's like it was eating lava out of the oven. Yeah, it, when, when it came out, when it first came out, it was so hot. Uh, Ron says he's never left the pot pie in the bowl. Um, and by the way, the old hotel was named the Great Plains Hotel. It was. Yes, that's it. That's it. The Great Plains Hotel. I wish I could. Jody Dykey was her name. She was doing something in response to something I yeah. said. So there was a comment. Let's, let's go said. Yeah. Was, um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She poured a drink. I've never had a drink poured over my head one time at the Great Plains Hotel. Do you just Great continue Plains on hotel. like nothing happened? No. I, <laughs> that slow. We were young. Down. I mean, you're like yeah. 18. Yeah. It didn't phase me too. 18 having cocktails in the Great Plains <laughs> Hotel. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. First of all, staying in the Great Plains yeah. Motel. Nice job. <laughs> no, we weren't staying there. I mean, it was. Uh, okay. All right. That's, just stop. That's enough. That's enough. Stop. We're going to move on. Yeah. That's, that's idle chit chat. Let's do Sponsored by Newton's Lawn Care. Let's do roll call. Now, roll call. <laughs> yeah. Anything. Now's the time. Anything. Just throw Get us out of the this wall. one. Stick it. Oh, See if it sticks. Oh, um, all right. It's like only there for no, two hours. I was Oh, Two hours. Two hours. <laughs> yeah. um, anyway, idle chit chat sponsored by Newton's Lawn Care. Call or text Andrew 402 440 6297 and get 50% off your first fertilizer application 50. this spring. 50. 50. 50. There it is. All right. So we heard from Matt Rule yesterday, guys. Uh, Matt Rule spoke to the media after Tuesday's open practice. Uh, had a couple of interesting comments. I, I think we want to start off first. We're starting with the uh, transfer portal. Did, yeah. Real quick, though. Hang on. Did you ask him a question, Steve? <laughs> I don't think I did. You, you didn't ask a question? Think mm, of No. Really? I don't think the so. The big thing was you were going to ask a question so we'd see if he'd say, Steve. Steve. No. Yeah. I don't think it happened. And you didn't identify yourself. Yeah, you did not. No. Hey, I don't. Uh, J- Bill, it was only a 13-minute <laughs> appearance. I didn't. No. I was listening intently. Was it, was it, I, was it because someone ahead of you? nabbed your question that happens you know that you've been in that setting yeah it could happen easily you were in that setting Mm -hmm. you answered questions and they come rapid fire and people are talking over each other sometimes Mm -hmm. no i didn't yeah everything was getting covered they kind of need a mediator up there they kind of need the keith man be like going okay we're going over here let's go let's go here tom you're up chatel you're up boom let's go over here steve's up it's it that because it does not a bad idea seriously because, because the bursts come out i've been up there numerous and all of a sudden Five come out at one time. Then usually what happens is, as the coach, you have to become the mediator. Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll get that. I'm going to go here. Mediator. There, yeah. There's that awkward silence yeah. because it's like, oh. Oh, Swim's been there. Are you going to go? Well, first of all, I will tell. I mean, I'll, I'll tell you. It was it was pretty funny when Keith Mann. Funny goes, ha-ha or funny weird? Funny ha-ha. Yeah. Um, when Keith Mann in the Troy Dan introductory press conference goes, you know, just just so we make sure, make sure you identify yourself for, for we Troy Dan and Steve Simple asked the first question. Straight into the question. Not even 10 seconds before. I like it. Not even 10 seconds before. <laughs> Keith, man, that's simple going, you know who I am. No, it's not. <laughs> that's simple, just not. That's simple, just being absent minded. Um, I just wasn't thinking, but go ahead. Anyway, yeah, get to rule. Matt Rule. Matt Rule spoke to the media yesterday, talked a little bit about Transfer Portal. And uh, here's What's what it? here's here's what Matt Rule had to say uh, on the uh, Transfer Portal. The 15 day window has officially opened up. It goes till the end of April. Here's Matt Rule's thoughts. Yeah, I mean, I think if anybody, on our team wants to go in the portal. It's open today. Um, that's their right. You know, obviously no one has yet. Um, I don't anticipate anybody going in. We'll, when we get done with spring, we'll have a couple guys. will have a couple days to see if something's best for them. Um, you know, our, our guys are really transparent. We, we've had players on our team already have people from other teams contact them, you know, come in, walk in, say, coach, look at this. Show us a text message. Show us this. 
just it's a sad, it's a sad state of college football. When you know, but the problem's not the problem's not the players. Let me, let me start there. The problem's not the players. So, um, I love our guys. I want everyone to be here, but I also want them. You know, I mean, you know, we had guys transferred to other places last year. I've talked to their coaches. I've talked to them. How they doing? And um, and it, once you played for me, you play for me for life. So, um, yeah, I mean, may, maybe it's a unique challenge in terms of. Um, some guys like should I? But we're pretty transparent with our guys. Like if they want to come talk to us, we're here to talk to them. We, I ask the coaches after scrimmages to meet with guys one on one. I'm I'm always available. So, um, I just don't think it's really prudent. And maybe this is maybe this is Pollyannish, but like, I don't think it's prudent for me to like coach guys thinking about the portal. You know, because like you you know the worst thing you can ever do for a young person is not have high standards for them and not push them to greatness. So if you're afraid of pushing them because they might go to the portal, then probably don't have the right guy anyway. Um, so you know I'm sure things will happen, good, bad, but um, we're just going to coach the guys, try to get the team better, and pour pour everything we have into our players, both on the field, off the field, and personally. And um, you know if something if something happens, it happens. So he says, listen, if, if guys want to enter the portal, that's their right to do so. We're going to mm-hmm. have a couple of days after the spring game to, to kind of have one-on-one meetings with the guys, but he doesn't anticipate anybody. Well, at least not. The way I heard it is there's a distinction. He doesn't anticipate anybody going into the portal before the spring game. Before the spring game. Mm-hmm. And then maybe yes. afterward. Yes. Maybe There afterward. will be people go in. That's just that's every place. Of course. Iowa. Iowa. You just name them. Yeah, name every, them. every place. If someone's going to go in, that's just going to happen. Yeah. But that's – but. You know, there's a couple of things that come, you know, comes up with that is that also, you know, that's people get contacted now, whether it's if it's direct, that's that's craziness to be if you're on another staff and you're directly, yeah. you know, talking to a player on another team. That's that's buffoonery. I think that's what he meant by sad state of affairs. That's, that's buffoonery because there's other ways if someone needs to, if someone if they want to t- figure something out, let's just say you're at, at uh, whatever school you're at, you're at school A and I want to know about. That guy, I recruited him. I want to know what his status is. Maybe he's not starting. Whatever it is, you, you know, it's not that hard to go through other sources. You don't have to send a direct message to that player. So if someone's doing that, that is that's crazy. But I will say this: there's going to be tampering. That's why no one, there's no, you, you don't, you, you'll hear no penalties for tampering. You won't hear it. You'll that, not, you'll, I mean, you, you'll not hear the. Hey, do you guys hear about uh, West Virginia? They just got this got nailed for tampering with with someone from. Uh, Someone from Pitt. It'll never happen. That is what he meant by sad state yeah. of affairs. Yeah. And that that's interesting what you're saying. I, evidently, there are coaches texting players. If that's the case, that 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 is that is crazy. Absolutely crazy. If that would be buffoonery. That's what that would be. And it's illegal technically. Technically, oh yeah, absolutely. But there's no enforcement. There, there's no enforcement. There, there's there's no enforcement on. This on, is not good, Swim. Do you Bran- understand well, what we're talking well, about? Well, branching away, I I understand that real quickly. Did you guys see the Colorado stuff over the last 24 hours? No. With uh, Sh- Shadur and Shiloh. Help me, Sanders. So they posted on their Instagram story. Shiloh posted, "Defensive transfers DM me." Sh- Shadur said, "Offensive transfers DM me." Clowns. And it said, oh, and then in parentheses. Clowns. This is not last chance you. So that is Colorado. Part of their approach is guys DMing the two Sanders, Shiloh and Shadur. I just okay, wanted to, I just okay, wanted to branch not, off. Okay, now hold it's, on. It's not the same discussion no, as okay, right? coaches. 100% okay. It's okay, yeah. Yes, yeah. a different discussion. And that's why I brought it in is because we, we see that side of things. But then to what Matt Rule is alluding to, Coaches directly con- contacting players. I'm sorry about my initial reaction, clowns. I do think there is an element of that, in but but whatever, it's probably okay to do that. God, it's weird. Don't no, it is weird. I mean, can you imagine like Billy Sims doing that? Yeah. Mike Rogier. Well, there was no ability to DM. I don't even know. Call me, I guess. But um, yeah. weird. Just, well, the, the interesting part would be just weird with someone like that. That that's where somebody you'll, you'll see. I'm sure someone will test the waters with a Colorado. It's obviously not in the portal. Like, hey, check in. Hey, what's going on out there? Give me some scoop. I'm the starting wide receiver at North Carolina. I guess that's Whatever. okay, right? I, I'm, I'm gonna. What, what's? I'm, I'm not in the portal right now. But what's? They're they're gonna talk to them because they can. Yeah. They're players. They can talk to each other with whatever they want to. They talk They can about. transfer whenever they want. Yeah. So they can do it. So again, I mean, there's the head coach at Nebraska called it a sad state yeah. of college football. Anytime someone is, is is messing with your roster or contacting 
kids in in a, in a way that they should not that is that is deemed illegal that is not good text line is it, are, is the text line okay with this uh, so there, there's not uh there's not a whole lot of pushback on on what we're saying there's pushback on on the fact of coaches texting players directly mm-hmm. um i i thought th- there's one text from an unnamed texter here that says uh matt rule is right play we blame the players so much for leaving nowadays but maybe we need to look at the coaches for influencing them uh, yeah i suppose yeah. and well, there, so there's also there's part of that yeah. there's also remember this is also an exit strategy too at a lot of places there's players are being told to move on yeah so the, it, it's like an nfl roster now this isn't the same when you get all the benefits that you can leave whenever you want, then then all of a sudden it's like people are also going to say, "Yeah, it's time. You need to you need to you need to move on. You need to have it." Because mm-hmm. now there's a different way for it to happen. Easier. <laughs> It'd be easier to have that. I've had conversation with players that just said, "Listen, to just to understand where we're at, we got through spring. When we get to the fall, your reps are not going to be when when so and so comes in. We're going to look at them first. We're going to do this just so you know where you're at." That's a hard conversation. Yeah, it is hard, but you have, but you tell them that. But at that time, it wasn't to push him out. That was more. It's like hey, I'm just letting you know when you when you when, when we come Absolutely. back yep. on those first couple of weeks. I'm looking at so and so and so and so. These are where the reps are going to fall. So you know what you're up against going into the summer. Blah blah blah. So you just be honest with them. Now that conversation is more. So mm. if you tell them that, so what they're thinking is, so you're telling me to get in the portal. That's what at school A. Mm-hmm. And so everyone handles it a little bit different. Mm-hmm. You do the best you can and be as transparent as you can. As you can. Mm-hmm. Then you're handling things the right way, which which Nebraska is doing God a great damn, job. Weird out there. Well, weird. And, and Matt Rule mentioned that he said, you know, we're always up front with our guys. That's what they're that's what they're claiming to be. And and for the most part, as we discussed yesterday, hasn't been a whole lot of of movement. Don't anticipate since, it since Matt Rule has been here. Uh, it was officially announced yesterday. Eric Fields is officially in the portal. That's kind of been something that we've known for a couple of months now. It's just officially reported yeah. yesterday. Yeah. Corey Collier, who hasn't been with the team since February, I believe. Also officially in the portal, former Florida Gator uh, five-star guy out of high school, Corey Collier. So as we mentioned yesterday, linebacker room and secondary both, you know, officially move lose lose one guy Mm. uh, from that roster. So officially, yeah, and maybe there'll be some movement after the spring game. Yeah, Uh, it's an odd time for Nebraska because they're it's right guys would have to leave the team right in the middle of a practices. Mm -hmm. You know, it's kind of awkward. Hit the break. Hey, listen, I got to get out of here. <laughs> I think this was the last one. Like, after, 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 after one rep. Okay. No, you know what? I don't want to do this. <laughs> just you, If you're practicing the stadium, you just walk right out over, over to compliance. Just walk right out of the West Stadium. You I'm still, going to Wichita. You still, have your, you still have your pads on. I know. I, was, I made a decision when about five minutes ago. I just got beat, got beat twice in one-on-ones, and this isn't happening. Where's LeBlanc at? <laughs> Matt Rule also mentioned, and we'll get, we'll, we'll get to this later in the show. What else did he say? Matt Rule mentioned pitch counts. He, he has guys. Yeah, there, there's certain guys on counts. pitch counts. Some of, the, some of the guys that he did mention by name, Gifford, Bryce Benhart, Ben Scott. There are eight. Um, there are Jam- eight. Jamal Banks. A couple okay. more on yep. defense. Let's go defense first. Let's go defense first. Gifford. Gifford. <laughs> Gifford, <laughs> Stephon Thompson. Thank you. Gifford. Okay, let's go from the back to the front. Yes. Gifford, Tommy Hill. Tommy Hill, Stephon Thompson, Ty Robinson, Nash Upmacher. There's five. Perfect. There's three on offense: Ben Hart, Scott, and Jamal Banks. There you go. I'm, I'm obviously Jamal Banks is a start. It's interesting to me. Jamal Banks obviously made a huge impression because he's already a start. They didn't yeah. scrimmage. They never had to scrimmage. Came in in the winter, made a big impression. I guess in winter conditioning, had a good first few practices, and voila, doesn't even have to scrimmage. Senior. Senior, a lot of reps um, and a lot of catches. Rules said if you get a thousand reps, that's good. You're good. You probably don't have to. You don't have to do the scrimmages. You know, a thousand reps over your career, which I guess is a lot. You have everything is everything is different. I know, I know it's subject to to um, like uh, Coach Epley Boyd did an incredible job in the strength department with. You didn't. You don't train fifth year seniors the same way you train incoming okay. eighteen year olds. Yeah, and so there's there there's already yeah. some wear and tear and whatever has to be done. But he had it down to a science. So you you didn't train the same when right. you've been there for five years. So it's a lot of the same thing with as Charlie McBride used to always say. You only have so many train wrecks in you. Mm-hmm. You don't know when your numbers up. Yeah. Some some people just like all of a sudden it's just so that there goes- is there there is a balance of of how much contact you're in and with what's going on. It is, but it is a little bit different when someone had never 
played at your school. Right. That's where it's, it is a yeah. little bit different. You have a Gifford that's played a bunch of reps at the school, and then the staff has coached him during a season. Banks. And so, so it's a little bit different that way as far as conversation. Banks getting a lot of respect, which it's fine. He had, now, he had now, options out of the portal. I mean, don't don't forget. I mean, it, it was Michigan. down to Nebraska, Michigan, for the most part, right. for for where he was going to transfer from Wake Forest to. Okay, what we're talking about here, I don't know if we are clear. These guys don't have to scrimmage. They didn't have yeah. to scrimmage Saturday, and I don't think they will have to scrimmage this Saturday. I believe rules said that. Well, he, he, I mean, he, they might, they might be in the spring game. Though. Maybe he said we're not, we're not a hundred percent certain on how we're going to handle these guys for the spring game. Okay, and so I mean, th these are some big parts of the, of the roster, oh, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. But to this point, according to Matt Rule, they've been relatively healthy, and, mm -hmm. and I, th I think that's a big piece. That's just an added benefit. It's great if you have it, but then also, and you don't really think about it in spring ball, maybe. And Bill, correct me if I'm wrong. That's more of a fall ball conversation. What's that? What conversation? The the significant injuries okay. of who's going to be available in two weeks when we get going or three and a half weeks when we get going for, for actual season games. But in spring, if you can get out of spring pretty healthy for the most part, I think you're going to obviously take that and because that's just an added benefit for your roster going forward. Yeah, anytime health is always very, very important. You get to a certain point, too, where <laughs> it's practice 13 in the spring. Where's that going to mm -hmm. take you in, with with an injury getting through it? At the same time, though, if you walk on eggshells all the time, uh, that, that's yeah. not a good thing either. Sometimes you have you have to play the sport to get better at the sport. That's what, yeah, yeah. that's that's exactly what play. he said yesterday. Because he he did he I mean he alluded to what types of practices that he keeps he keeps kind of reminding people we're we're tackling in practice we're we're hitting hard in practice he had, he, he, had, he mentioned that he's he had like sound on that yeah he did he did and so. Um, he he mentioned that a couple of times yesterday, but um, so there you go. Just some some pre, just some initial thoughts on uh, Matt Rule. Garrett McGuire also spoke a little bit yesterday. We'll get back to Matt Rule later in the show because he had some thoughts on turnovers and turnover margin that I think uh, we, we have some couple, thoughts on that. A couple of us found interesting. Nebraska historically uh, one of the one of the worst when it comes to turnover margin over the course of the season. They were minus seventeen last year, so we'll talk about that. Coming up later in the show, as always, want to thank Gaina Trucking for sponsoring the first hour of early break here on the ticket. It is time for us to head to a break. When we return, we'll be joined by a colleague of SIPs, Sean Callahan of On3, will be joining us to talk a little spring football. When we come back, it's early break on the ticket. Don't go anywhere. You're listening to Early Break with Steve Sippel, Jake Sorensen, and Bill Bush on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. It's getting nicer outside, but it's still hit or miss in the spring on golf weather. Not at Double Eagle Golf. You're home for always 72-degree weather with no wind. Book a bay with some friends for a weekend or come by for golf and happy hour on a weekday. Spring leagues are underway, but stay tuned for info on indoor golf tournaments and book your bay for after the spring game in late April. That's all at Double Eagle Golf inside the Kinetic Sports Complex on West O Street. Online at doubleeagle.golf. Unearth the secret to long-lasting tires at Treads Central Tire Pros, a league apart in commitment, service, and expertise. This isn't just about rubber meeting the road, but trust, safety, and surety converging in perfect harmony. This is where expectations are exceeded every time. Make your appointment today at Tread Central Tire Pros just south of Cortland on Highway 77 or visit our website to explore our services. Remember, when it comes to tires, choose Tread Central Tire Pros because we tread differently. Hi, I'm Senator Bo Bally. I was born and raised in Lancaster County, learning the value of hard work and grit at a young age. I built my own company, creating jobs right here in our community. I know that families and businesses in our community need lower taxes, lower cost of health care, and a great education. That's why as your senator, I helped pass the largest task and made the most significant investment in education in Nebraska history and worked to reduce the cost of health care. I'm Senator Bo Ballard, and I humbly ask for your vote on May 14th. Paid for by Ballard for Nebraska. Gaina Trucking is hiring CDL Class A and B drivers. Gaina Trucking guarantees a 40-hour work week year-round. And their strong team culture makes it not a job, but a career. Gaina Trucking offers health, vision, and digital insurance, 401k with company match, an employee assistance program, and other bonus programs. Build a better career today with great team culture at Gaina Trucking. 
Learn more and apply today at gainatrucking.com. Spring is a time of new beginnings and trying new things. If you haven't tried Fear's Cheese Spread yet, the time is now. For parties for St. Patrick's Day and Easter or celebrating the NCAA tournament with friends, there's no better dip to bring everyone together and celebrate something from Nebraska. Get to your local grocery store today and load up on Fuhrer's Cheese Spread. No event or party is complete without it on your table. Unearth the secret to long-lasting tires at Treads Central Tire Pros, a league apart in commitment, service, and expertise. This isn't just about rubber meeting the road, but trust, safety, and surety converging in perfect harmony. This is where expectations are exceeded every time. Make your appointment today at Treads Central Tire Pros, just south of Cortland on Highway 77, or visit our website to explore our services. Remember, when it comes to tires, choose Treads Central Tire Pros, because we tread differently. Your sprinklers are watering the street or flooding your backyard. If you're on a list that doesn't exist, it's time for Judson Irrigation. At Judson Irrigation, Lee or Lacey or Judson will make an appointment. You pick the time and they'll be there to fix your sprinkler system. Now that's service, a dying art these days. Keep summer green. Call Judson Irrigation, 402-420-6277 or JudsonIrrigation.com. At Union Bank, people don't have your money. Your money has people. First home people, investment people, people people, people who answer the phone and your chats, dream car people, dream retirement people, driving your dream car in your dream retirement people, small business people, credit card people, and all the other people you need. At Union Bank, our people help you do more than you dreamed possible. So stop in and say hello. We can't wait to see you. Union Bank and Trust, member FDIC. Start your Sundays off right with Jeff and Nicole Essink on Fitness Fanatics. Jeff and Nicole discuss health and wellness, how to achieve fitness goals, and more through the life of gym owners and gym goers. It's Fitness Fanatics from 9 to 11 a.m. on Sundays on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Hi, it's Charlie Stone back with the latest update from Andy Goodyear of Honda of Lincoln. Andy, your new car selection keeps getting better and better every month. Can you tell our listeners all about it? You know, it sure is, Charlie. It's great that our customers can come in, pick out a new Honda, and drive away with it that day. How many new Hondas do you have in stock? Well, right now we have just about 100 in stock. Hey, I hear you've won some very important awards in your service department. Tell us about them. Well, the first one is we won the award for the first fixed award. So the cars are actually fixed on the very first time they're brought in. Second award is our Customer Service Experience Award. And then our third award is our Honda Express Service Elite, and we rank the best in quality and customer satisfaction. Maybe it's time you come experience the Honda of Lincoln way of doing business, 27th and Yankee Hill Road, or online at hondaoflincoln.com. This. Well, good morning, little brother. It's Early Break with Zip and Jake, brought to you by Gaina Trucking. Weekday mornings from 6 to 8 on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Welcome back into Early Break on The Ticket. Nick Sainert filling in for Jake Sorensen, Steve Sipple, Bill Bush alongside. As always, second segment sponsored by our friends at Bex Hybrids, the largest independent family-owned seed company. We would like to wish farmers a safe and successful planting season. For any in-season seed needs, find your nearest Bex Hybrid seed representative at BexHybrids.com. Let's go to the LVIP line where we're joined by Sean Callahan of On3 Husker Online. Sean, good morning. Uh, We'll start with this. Matt Rule mentioned pitch counts yesterday and and potentially some guys not playing in the spring game and scrimmages. Jamal Banks is on that list. And if you think back, even previously, before Matt Rule, it was the Samari Toure, then Trey Palmer, then Billy Kemp last year, and now Jamal Banks kind of as Nebraska's gone to the transfer portal. What should be the expectation for Jamal Banks going into 2024? Well, I think of, of those guys, um, at least at the Power 5 level, Jamal Banks, you can argue, has as big of a body of work as anyone. I mean, he, he was a, a two, I believe he was two time second team all conference for sure. He was second team all conference this past year, but one of the top receivers in the ACC and 
Um, there's a lot of you know snaps and proven film underneath his reps. Trey Palmer didn't have that kind of body of work. I mean, he had potential, uh, but didn't have you know the numbers at LSU that Banks had at Wake Forest. Torre had great numbers at the FCS level. Uh, but yeah, I, I think that's just the approach Matt Rule believes in. That hey, let's you know let's get some other guys some more reps. We know what Banks can do. Uh, we know you know he's proven. We've seen it now in the winter. We've seen it in the early portions of spring. Uh, but yeah, when you when you're a newcomer and can earn that already, that tells you what they think of him. Sean, I mean, do you, do you think we're looking at a situation where both those big transfer receivers are in the lineup, Nayor and Banks? I mean, it it looks possible. I mean, I, I think Jalen Lloyd has to, has to be considered, you know, a guy today too. Uh, but mm. you know, a lot just depends on the formations they come out with right. too, and, and 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 the looks. I mean, I think we get so fixated on starters and who's the starters, but I, I think it's more who are going to be the the main five or six guys they feature. And I, I think Nayor and Banks and Lloyd are in, in that group, and and there's a whole host of others you know, kind of battling, um, you know, Malachi Coleman will, will factor in and Isaiah Garcia Castaneda is injured, but you, you wonder where he'll factor in. Alex Bullock certainly will be in a, in a rotational group as a veteran in, in that back end. And Jaden Doss is in, in the competition and uh, Demetrius Bell. I mean, they've got a really good group of guys and now it's a matter of kind of putting that puzzle together. Portals open, Sean Callahan. Is, is Nebraska looking? I mean, everyone's looking to an extent, but it's mm. it's dry right now. I mean, there, there's not as much mm. movement into this portal in April mm-hmm. as maybe you would see in December. And, you know, Shannon Terry, our owner of On3, brought up a great point. I mean, hat tip to the collectives. They've done a really good job with roster management and, and you know, getting their teams in line where you, you're not seeing near as much entry as we had seen maybe in previous springs. and. It, I think NIL is a big factor where, you know, you kind of keep guys put or, you know, a couple of years ago out of the blue, Casey Rogers just left Nebraska in the middle of the spring. And, you know, Casey Thompson last year left Nebraska. Um, you know, I, I, here locally, I don't know if we're going to see um, a major just out of the blue spring portal entry. The world didn't anticipate it yesterday. And, you know, but there'll be something I'm sure, but nothing major if I had a guess today and, I think across college football, the, the activity has been uh, really quiet. And, you know, Coach Rule's comments about coaches tampering with players mm-hmm. um, that, that aren't even in the portal kind of tells you maybe how dry it is right now because maybe there's some coaches trying to find something in the portal. There's nothing there. So they're trying to maybe create some activity if, if, if they could get a guy to enter the portal, which is, as you would say, Seb, one of the, the, the ugly sides of college football right yeah, now. Yeah, that seems healthy. Uh, just go off. Go to somebody else's roster, text some guys, and try to pluck them. That seems yeah, like a good part of college night, football. Um, it's like, hey, I'm going to go out to the bars and, and, and look for girls. Easy. <laughs> There's no girls in the bars. So what do you do? You just start texting guys as girlfriends to show up. To oh, great. I mean, <laughs> Healthy. Uh, okay, what else? What what else from Rule? Swim, well, do you have any other questions? Well, yeah, I, I think one thing, Sean, and once again, Sean Callahan of On3 joining us. Um, w- one thing is is certainly with, with Matt Rule, the, the turnover number has been an issue mm. just with Nebraska over the last decade plus. They were minus 17. Um, and I think in, in last season in turnover margin, and when you look ahead at this season, you're instilling a freshman quarterback as we expect Dylan Riola to be the starter out there. Should there be concern for Nebraska repeating the numbers and the type of numbers, especially when it comes to turnover margin that maybe Nebraska fans are accustomed to? Well, I think one reason why they're automatically not going to have as many you would think is they're going to take away a lot of that QB run game. Um, When you put your QB in the run game and, you know, have a lot of ball handling and and zone reads and and, and things like that, that naturally Mm -hmm. is going to lead to some more turnovers just because of, the exposure you're putting at your quarterback and then just the ball handling involved. If they're going to do more of just straight handoffs to the backs, um, which we think that's the direction they're going with Dylan Raiola or even Daniel Kalen or the other quarterbacks, um, you would think that that would shave things down. So um, I just think that alone right there, the change in what they're doing, taking out a lot of the options and things they were doing last year um, will help those turnovers. 
Okay, Sean, a lot of talk, a lot of talk about Vincent Shavers. Are we going too far with this? Is it is it too much hype too soon? Vincent Shavers is an inside linebacker freshman from Miami. Is he I mean, do you could you see him against UTEP playing significant playing a significant role? Yeah, I don't think it's going too far to say that he's put himself in a position that he's not going to register. I mean, he's got a great chance to play, and I think that's where we're at today. And Yeah, you'd hate to say – I mean, starter, I mean, it's very difficult to be that kind of player, but we know Matt Rule and Tony White rotate and play a lot of guys. So I I think Shaver just put himself in a great position um, to to get into one of those rotations where he's going to play some snaps this year. Okay. All right, Sean, appreciate the time. As always, we'll go ahead and get you out of here. Uh, sorry that we got to you a couple of minutes late, but yeah, appreciate the time. Bad. Appreciate the time, as always. We'll talk to you soon. It's all good, gentlemen. Talk to you later. God Thanks. bless you. There he is, Sean Callahan of On3 Husker Online. Appreciate the time, as always. Uh, Vincent Shavers, a, a, a lot of hype around V9. We found out his nickname. V9. And I, is that is that like, okay, you have a V8 engine? I would assume so. And then V6. V9 is one more. I, I mean, I don't know what that means exactly. Could be. Could be, it could be a nod to V8, yep. the drink, the tomato juice. Oh. V9. V- <laughs> <laughs> right. Hold an on. even better tomato drink. <laughs> yeah. 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 Hey, that could be it. It could have a V9. It could have a V9. Yeah. 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 Um, so, yeah, he has mm-hmm. that nickname V9. I got, sorry, I got, I just, I kind of blanked out no, in that interview because I was, freaked out by that transfer portal conversation. Then when Sean started talking about going to the bar and all that, I, I kind of um, got startled, but that whole conversation is interesting. There's not a lot of activity nationwide. There's not as many guys in the portal because guys are getting paid now. Um, and, and you know, you can take, you can take care of your guys now. So they're staying on campuses and not going into the portal. Also, there's, there's a high level probably of whether it be parents Whoever that that the, the, they the players lean on for advice, they're like, "Shut up and stay right there. Mm-hmm. Don't make them kick you out." Because he, then they can show you the list of here's the thousand guys that went in the portal with scholarships and came out with no scholarship. That's also so like they just no, no, don't. All of a sudden, it's like I'm out of here. I'm going to the portal. I was like, "Where are you going?" All of a sudden, no one's oh, no. calling them. All of a sudden, no one's reaching out to them. They're going nowhere. Mm-hmm. So there's there's that going on also. It's like you just sit real tight. You may ever understand, too, it, uh, God bless you. NIL, uh, which I talked about uh, last night on it with, with a couple of friends of mine, is that, remember, it, it's, you're looking at maybe 30%, 33% of your roster. That's it. It's not everyone thinks NIL. Not everybody's getting it. No, 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 they're not. Yeah. And it's the same way every place. All of a sudden, it's like, Okay, the whatever the the uh, red shirt freshman left guard who's never played a snap. Hey, I need some nil money. Yeah, go knock yourself out. Go figure it out yourself. There's not money just flying. If there's only a certain as a matter of fact, it's probably smaller than thirty. Mm-hmm. That when you really say, well, well, where's the nil money going? Mm-hmm. Out of the eighty five, like that, by twenty five percent, that's where it works. Mm-hmm. They'll have some other things, some options, some things to try to do something for them to have a little bit of extra spending money. But the other part, that's not where where no. it's at. Right. That, that's that's not the deal. Interesting. And so, like, you know, Utah had a deal where they, um, you know, where every single person on scholarship got a new vehicle. So mm-hmm. that's that's a that's there, a, yeah that's a major one. There Just imagine when eighty five guys pull up all they have brand new trucks. There are some places. You're right though. Few and far between where everybody's mm-hmm. getting it. Nebraska's roster, pretty much all the scholarship guys get a get a, get something. But Bill's right. It's not. No, not everybody's getting it all over the country. But it is really interesting to me that that there's little portal activity right now nationwide. And, it, and the coaches, if they need a guy, that if they're looking, they might not be there right now. Yeah. You know, if there's some desperation. Well, once again, thanks to thanks to Sean for joining the show as always. And thanks to Bex Hybrids for, for sponsoring the second segment, the largest independent family-owned seed company who would like to wish farmers a safe and successful planting season. For any in-season seed needs, find your nearest Bex Hybrids. Bex Hybrids seed representative at bexhybrids.com. All right, guys, it's time to get to the song of the day in the mailbag because it is a Wednesday. Got a couple of questions sent in to us from various folks. So we got song of the day. Song of the day, much more, uh, I should say, better representation of song of the day today in terms of format, in terms of length. 
Go ahead. The you, length, okay. The, the length is, that is was much, a, yeah, much longer was, than, than 25 seconds. No, yesterday, what, nine seconds you started talking. Well, so, you, yeah. you, you had to do what you had to do. Is this your song? It is my song. Oh, boy. Okay. It's going to be it is, it is It's going to be titled Jake's Questionable Song of the Day, but it is really Nick's Swims. Questionable yeah. Song of the Day. We'll do that when we return on Early Break. All right, yeah. You're listening to Early Break with Steve Sippel, Jake Sorensen, and Bill Bush on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. This is Coach Bill Bush. You all know my passion for Nebraska. Having coached all over the country, I can honestly say there is no place like Nebraska. You know where there's also no place like? Midwest Bank. Midwest Bank has proudly served Nebraska for over 70 years, and they're located in nine different communities. Midwest Bank is ready, willing, and able to meet all your personal, business, and agriculture needs. Your community, your bank, and mine, Midwest Bank. Find out more at Midwest Bank. Member F. D-I-C. Perch Merch is your one-stop shop for all your printing and promotional needs in Lincoln, Nebraska. They specialize in screen printing, embroidery, vehicle wraps, window wraps, print collateral, promotional products, and signage. At Perch Merch, they are committed to delivering high-quality products and exceptional customer service. Their experienced team of designers and printing professionals will work with you every step of the way to ensure that your vision is realized. Call for a quote today at 402-217-5212 or go to perch-merch.com. Bagels and Joe is the perfect place for breakfast or lunch in April. Try their brand new cake batter cream cheese on any breakfast sandwich. And try the caramel latte as 10% of proceeds from that drink will go to the Foundation for Lincoln Public Schools. Four locations in Lincoln and one in Seward, Bagels and Joe. The Red White Spring Game is coming soon. Do you know your tailgate meal for before and after the game? Fuhrer's Cheese Spread is the dip that brings everyone together to celebrate something for all Nebraskans made in Nebraska. And it goes well with crackers, meats, soups, and more. How could you tailgate without it? Get to your local grocery store today and load up on Fuhrer's Cheese Spread. No spring game party or tailgate is complete without it. When we're looking out for a homeowner, we're always keeping their budget in mind. We try to maximize things that are important to them. Bob Benish is the founder and president of Aspen Builders, online at aspenbuildersinc.com. So we really try to maximize the size because five years from now, you can't just make your house bigger. The one thing I can tell you is that most builders in Lincoln, we all are about the same price. The difference comes in the products that we put in and the way we put in those products. The old saying, you get what you pay for, is pretty accurate when you're building a home. If you put nicer windows in and you put nicer cabinets, it's going to cost a little bit more. You know, if those things are important to you, then you want to do it. We can try to incorporate in your floor plan and get a house that you're going to be happy with. Make your dream home a reality and call Aspen Builders at 423-6811. Online at aspenbuildersinc.com. Your home is waiting at Aspen Builders. If you're in Seward or Milford, listen up. Select Plumbing is now servicing your area with no trip charges from Lincoln. Select Plumbing works on a variety of issues for your home and business, including general plumbing, water heaters, faucet and fixture repair, underground sewer and water repairs, backflow testing, and more. Keep your property free from leaks and other issues. Call today for a free estimate, 402-560-6197. It's not just Lincoln, Waverly, and the surrounding area anymore. It's also Seward and Milford with no trip charges. Contact Select Plumbing to inquire at 402 402- 560 <gasps> The Mill Coffee and Tea, formerly with only four Lincoln locations. Guess what? What? There's five Lincoln locations now. Oh my gosh. That's 25% more Lincoln locations than there used to be. Can you even imagine a world where there's only four Lincoln Mill locations? Feels like ages ago. We were all so young then. <sighs> the Mill on 11, located right alongside 93.7 The Ticket Studios, 1040 O Street. Hey, Nebraska! Register today for the 40th annual Cornhusker State Games, taking place July 11th through the 21st in Lincoln, Omaha, and other Nebraska communities. The Cornhusker State Games features 70 sports for athletes of all ages and abilities. Price increases are approaching, so register early and save. For details, go to CornhuskerStateGames.com. Advocating for physicians in the health of all Nebraskans, Nebraska Medical Association, a proud platinum partner of the Cornhusker State Games. 
Hey there, fellas. It's your girl, Jordan, with Sarder Heyman Jewelry. Women may be complicated, but I make sure buying jewelry isn't. Your gal has a style, and you can figure this out. Is she more of a classic necklace kind of gal, or does she rock the boho chic vibe with layers of delicate bracelets? This is crucial intel. Not trusting your intel? Stop in the store and we'll sort out the details. I promise to make this super easy. Until next time, this is Jordan at Sarder Heyman Jewelry. Happy shopping, guys. Does it seem like your clothes dryer doesn't dry like it used to? It may not be your dryer. It may be your dryer vent. When the vent becomes obstructed, it drastically reduces the efficiency of your dryer. Even worse, it can be a fire hazard. Here's the simple solution. Call Bryant. Bryant will thoroughly clean the vent and show you the before and after results. Call 467-1111. Keep your dryer operating efficiently and your home safe. Bryant Air Conditioning, Heating, Electrical, and Plumbing. We do whatever it takes. Start your Sundays off right with Jeff and Nicole Essink on Fitness Fanatics. Jeff and Nicole discuss health and wellness, how to achieve fitness goals, and more through the life of gym owners and gym goers. It's Fitness Fanatics from 9 to 11 a.m. on Sundays on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. You love to bash his sports takes. Now, will you feel like a, an idiot if you're no, a big tough never like if you're a big tough guy this morning? But you really love to voice your displeasure for his music choices. He stumbled on an issue that I did not think would generate this much passion and discussion. It's time for Jake's questionable song of the day on early break on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Cause I'm the son of a third generation farmer I've been married ten years to the farmer's daughter I got two boys in the county 4-H I'm a love dog sponsor of the FFA Hey, that's what I make I make a lot of hay for a little pain But I'm proud to say I'm a god fearing hard-working combine driver Hogging up the gold on my flower Chugging like a lug at five miles an hour On my international harvester That is right. Today's song of the day is International Harvester, released in 2006 by Craig Morgan. Sponsored, as always, by our friends at Starter Heyman Jewelers. Give it a rating on the Starter Heyman text line. One is bad. Ten is good. International Harvester by Craig Morgan. Smile and wave and tip your hat to the man up on the tractor. It's, for international would, harvest all of a sudden it's like hey was that waylon no no was that willie oh nope, nope. <laughs> no, 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 no. that song was not written by chris christopherson no it was not <laughs> we're <laughs> kind of haughty yes okay yeah. but we are when it comes to country okay yeah. so so two well i can't I, I said i can't go to two i don't think <laughs> um, <laughs> so we can't get that hot <laughs> i think i would go into like one I mean, you tried, and it's different. We don't hear that kind of song unless Jake just has a major aneurysm. Um, one point one 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 six five. Wow! I won't go quite that low, but I will say this: 
It was an awful you, song. Steve man. nailed it with an ad because all I could all I could think of is this song's playing for for Beck Seed. I, I just mm-hmm. I felt something this, like that. I thought, yeah, this is this is playing for this was playing in the background. Is there is they're putting seed in the ground out there in Goner, getting the plots ready? This mm-hmm. is kind of how I viewed it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just a bad song in I, the background. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not a bad saw, but great, but great feed. You know that, that that's the way it looks. Yeah. Um, I did know uh, I'm a little embarrassing. I knew a lot of the words. <laughs> did I did know a lot of the words. You knew that song. I knew I knew the song. knew, knew several of the words. So it's kind of one of those songs that was kind of played. <laughs> Never is it going like, hey, somebody grab my Craig Morgan cassette. No. You know, going out at night or something. No. Throw that in real quick. No, let's listen to that. I'm going to go with more of a. <laughs> Four four two one six. Okay, thank you. I'll give it a four. That's thank that's, you. Yeah. Okay, um, Josh. Right. How do we feel like Josh landed here? Low. I'm going to say Josh is in in uh, three nine. I think he's lower than that. I'm going to give him. I'm going to try to say he's going to be about a five. Mm-mm. Two he's, five. He's in my realm. Two, two five. point five. Two half five. of that. Two half five. of that. Two point five. Yeah. Nick. All right. Let's get to the. Nick, just play rock and the, roll or something. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, this that that's not always questionable. Yeah, this was certainly true. questionable. True. Yes, it was. I'm slowly try, getting the hang of what what. Try the '70s. Means. See how that works out for us. Um. All right. Here we go. Good. Let's see how it happens here. Uh, Notorious Bib says 4.1. Uh, we got uh, unnamed texter says Nick. I appreciate your music choice. 8.7. Mm-hmm. We also have Rod in South Lincoln, age 61, says 5.0. Uh, unnamed texture says garbage zero <laughs> eric says absolute trash 0. 0.0 <laughs> dino gives it a seven triple h's dad gives it a nine jeez um uh, mike and dalton says seven uh scott from bancroft 8.222226 big people, swim the people yeah. like nice yeah. job bro um we got scott and lincoln says negative five Damn. kiffin kiffin in columbus says Lame. one Corey in Lincoln, two, says embarrassing. Nate in Dorchester. <laughs> Corey. Nate, Nate, Nate in Dorchester, 8.7. Great song, Nick. Uh, Sean in Omaha asks if this is even a real song. Zero. I wondered that. Wonder with Steve uh, thought it was an ad. I thought it was an ad for International Harvester. Harvester. Yep. Uh, I we, H. we have an unnamed texture that says bleep and love it. Really? Bleep and love it. Yeah, okay. they, they said right. the word. Um, we have Kyle, Kyle Hooper says way to keep it quiet during the song, 8.1. <laughs> um we have big bird says six on there this has been about the biggest discrepancy yeah from from trash there's there's a lot of there's really a lot is. a lot of to good scores yeah. this is the biggest discrepancy i've ever seen yeah. maybe in, in a song yep yeah T- tony and fort bragg big fan 9.22759 yeah. we'll go with another bad one here uh east lincoln west three hard pass there you go yeah. so once again no international international yeah. i did not see it on here no bird um Corey was yep not, Corey was not there, there. Yeah. his friend wasn't there yep yeah. not 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 today so um yeah once again international harvester by craig morgan released in 2006 is that a song that like is that one in your repertoire i want to say it's in my repertoire i can see i, I can uh, see you driving the new car with the tinted windows i, I would that. not i would oh not yeah drive. i can see it I would not like um I, I thought of I also I mean I'll tell you guys I thought about playing some MC Hammer today. Ooh, Hammer I time. I didn't think that would go over well. No, 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 don't assume that. No, no, assume that. You never know how things turn. You, <laughs> well, you'd, as you'd be shocked learned. how things turn sometimes. But don't play Hammer tomorrow because you give it that, away. That give it away now. You yeah. can't do Hammer time now. Yeah. yeah. Uh, how about this? Unnamed texter says trash song, trash song, but questionable, questionable nonetheless. At least Nick went questionable instead of pandering to the old heads. Oh wow! They took a shot at us. Direct shot, go. direct shot. <laughs> the old heads. The old heads. Yeah, I guess that's what we are. Pandering. Yeah. <laughs> Bubba <laughs> says nine out of spite because Sip only likes bleep from the seventies. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. I'm kind of with him on the seventies. We, we actually had personal. We actually, personal. That's good personal. <laughs> we actually have somebody personal. on the text line say that they've seen Craig Morgan in concert a couple of times. Oh, I'm sorry nice. about that. Sorry. <laughs> Um, that'd be free. That'd be free. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Concert. There's no way you're paying. He's in for the that. town square. Oh, you yeah. just stop by at lunch. That's awesome. All right. Uh, anyway, Heyman. Uh, Heyman. Yeah, Sarder Heyman Jewelers. Yeah, and Heyman has a. a oh, uh, Rick Heyman says hot garbage. Hot he, told him he sponsored the song. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rick, I'm sorry that I put that on and tied to your name today. It's tied right there. <laughs> well, we're not gonna like them all. Yeah. There you go. Uh, but nonetheless. Oh, okay. Should we break the news? Yes. Mm. Should we oh, break no, no, the no. news? Or should we wait? You have, you have the breaking sounder. news? I, I absolutely do have the breaking okay. news sounder. This is big. 
this is this is big news here. That, Announce it like Walter Cronkite, yes. please. I have no clue who that is. Um, is Harry Charles Corral. Charles Corral. Yeah. Here we go. So this is breaking news coming in from ninety three seven. The t- I don't know those people. You're this fine. isn't our breaking news. It's okay. Oh, it's not. No. It's fine. Though. This it's is the only breaking fear. news sound right. It's one hundred percent fine. Okay. This okay. is breaking news. Jake Sorensen is officially a father. Jake Sorensen wow. is officially a father. He has notified us that at six twenty seven a.m. He and his wonderful wife, Elizabeth, officially became parents to a beautiful, healthy baby girl. 627 a.m. this morning. Born during yes. early break with Sip and Jake. Isn't that amazing? That's amazing. Go. And Bill. Hey, you handled during that During the well. show. You handled that well. There it is. So Jake Sorensen yes. is uh, is out for a week being a dad. I, this is, I, I just got a text from him. This is pretty cool here. He said, um, Jake said this is surreal man what an experience and moment yeah he's pretty pumped so there you go yeah, he's pretty pumped it, it, it was stress i think i don't think they mind saying that it was a long delivery mm-hmm. it was it wasn't it wasn't one of those like in and out it, no. they, they they've been going through some yeah. it, just, it just took a long time there was some stress there's some stress it took a long time but look yeah. at now there look you go now. jake's a dad he's a dad yeah. to a little daughter who's doing fine everybody's doing fine yep um she'll, wow. look, she'll look up to him my old my albino dad who won a wrestling match <laughs> in Seward against someone from Columbus who were trying to track down. I don't, I'm not aware of that story. <laughs> you squirm around and try not to get pinned. That's, that's what his dad would tell him. <laughs> try not to get pinned. There had to be a buzz around the third period, like going, hey, guys, check over on Matt four. <laughs> the albino staying alive. <laughs> He's up three to two. <laughs> Fighting his tail off. <laughs> that is incredible. Yeah. Um, people are asking if we can give Jake's his personal cell number out. We cannot. I don't think we better. We probably we should not. We can. They can DM him right yes. on, on on yeah tweet at, tweet at him. Yeah, yes. absolutely. What's his Twitter handle? Yes, can we get that out. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's just nine three seven Jake Sorensen. Nine three seven. He would Jake love to Sorensen. hear from you. Yep. There you go. So, uh, once again, yep. It says tell the tell them that the baby was born this morning during early break at six twenty seven. We'll let people know the name in the coming days. Beautiful, healthy baby girl. Appropriate. That is very early break. Isn't that amazing? I tell you what, the more amazing thing is that uh, uh, he texted both of us being Sipper in a group with him. The baby was born at 627. Mm -hmm. We had a text at 637. (laughs) Yeah. 10 minutes after the baby was born, (laughs) he got a hold of us. Pretty good. That's pretty good. You think it'd be maybe around nine today, like. (laughs) Everybody else, people know. Hey, by the way, yeah, I mean, he's like, like all of a sudden, okay, all right, incoming. Wow, so exciting! Exciting time for uh, Jake and Elizabeth. Congratulations to them. All right, guys, we ready to get to the mailbag here for a moment? Sure. All right, let's do this. Mailbag, as always, sponsored by our good friends at Double Eagle Golf. Uh, they have every, or excuse me, they book your tee time indoors at Double Eagle Golf, Double Eagle Dot Golf inside the Kinetic Sports Complex on West O Street, where it's always seventy-two degrees. And Sonny, let's get the music what going here. What a complex here. that is. Let's get the music going. There it is. Sam. We got the mailbag. Ooh. All right. First question comes from Michael. It says, Aloha. This past weekend, it was reported about Israel. I'm not going to go into the stats of it. Uh, about them intercepting drones. Which Husker huh? defensive back, current and all time, would you most trust to make an interception? Okay. Um, Interesting question. I got to lean to sip on this one more just because... You covered for the, the span of time. Yeah, I have some knowledge of of people I coached here at, at three different times, but you covered it for the you know, for a long time. Long I mean, I go to Ralph Brown. Um, Ralph Ralph was he he had some big years of picks. One of the Bullock boys, led. Dan, yeah, led the like the country. Yeah, like I had like a ten. I mean, mm-hmm. um, I can't remember if it was Daniel or Josh. Was that? Uh, but I would. It was Josh. Was it Josh? Yes. Do you remember? Were you, were, yeah. Yeah. Josh was crazy. Yeah. He had crazy numbers. Has yes. crazy interception. Number. Thank you, Bill. Yes, it was Josh. Do you remember that? Yes. God bless you. Josh yes. Bullock. I would probably go to Josh yes. Bullock. Have to, just for the numbers. Yes. Yeah. Josh Bullock. All right. Second one. You know uh, what? Like, can I say ahead. one more thing, yeah. though? You know what I love? What I love? What I just love in football? I love blocked punts. There's, those are fun. Block kicks. Interception. A guy that makes an interception and has a chance for a return is a super fun part of football. That's when it's like 
It's just a fun moment. Oh, God, he's got a shot here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And those guys that can run it after they pick it, it's beautiful. You, Sometimes you get a convoy. They have, they have such, such a natural uh, segue. They just, they're just hooked up that way. There's yeah. something that's like, okay, I'm, I got the ball. I'm going to get what I can. I'm out. Yeah. And then there's ones that go, hey, this is dangerous. Right. This, this is something. This, you, this you've coached go them. score. If you have a chance to go score, go score. Yeah. Go score. You want to know that who that was for me growing up? Who? Prince of Mukamara. Oh, God, yes. That's, he got that's, one. Yep. He could go. That yeah. was that was for me growing up. Yeah. yeah. Whether whether it was in against Oak, I remember the the ten three game. That was a lone touchdown. Or yeah, maybe right. maybe was he was he knocked out at like the two? Yeah, I think so. I yeah. believe it was that he he picked off Landry Jones. Did you recruit him? Did you recruit him? I did recruit. Prince. Yeah. Bill was. Bush recruited that man from Arizona. You had a big year in Arizona. It was a big year. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What's also notable about Prince? He's in the Hall of Fame, so I, I was able to hang out with him when I was at his Hall of Fame induction. Um, a few a few years ago, the Nebraska. But he's the last what? What? First round draft pick. That is right. He's the last first round draft pick for Nebraska. Was that 2011? I believe 21st overall. It's a yeah. long time. Yeah. yeah, I don't know, but that's a long time. It's a long time for a first round. Yeah, draft two pick. straight years of them. You had Sue go second overall, and then Prince go. It, it was to the Giants. Giants. Um, I can't remember. If it was 19 or 21. Yeah, I think he so, finished second that, in the Thorpe Award. That, hold remember. on a second. That's Nebraska's last first rounder. Good it sure God. was. Good job. Sure was. Um, second one, uh, final mailbag question here. What is one meal that you guys have the greatest confidence in cooking by yourself? Ooh, actually cooking a meal, actually I'm, cooking I'm a, a meal. Cook. Yeah. Not, not yeah. the TV dinners that we discussed earlier or pot pies. Yep. Or pot yeah. pies. I don't think I'd even attempt to cook anything. No, no me be, and Bill are in the same boat something. Is that right? So, yeah, so, we don't cook. No, hmm. no. It'd be something so simple as like a burger on the grill. Yeah, something of that nature. That okay. would be that would be good a, yeah. job. The no, chance of me getting one. multiple things out and mixer or something up or no. or preparing a meal nope. like hey, I'm gonna make sure I have you know a nope. couple of nice sides. Nope, nope. Yeah, you know, I am big on whatever we're having. That's where so all of a sudden it's like hey, we're gonna have French fries. Oh, my fries for dinner. Burger on the grill. Yeah, burger. You on did the grill. good on that, that. That'd be it. Yeah, that, I I'm I'm just gonna go there too. I I mean I'm I've kind of pride myself on being able to nail frozen pizza in the oven. I nail it yeah. every time. I do. Get it okay. perfect. Nice. I have a strange sense of yeah. it, like when it's I can look at it. The timer. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think there's all they're all a little different. Um not if you cook it in the same <laughs> oven. Yeah. <laughs> so no, no. All right. All right. So, so for us burger on the grill. <laughs> that's it. For us, we have nothing. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. All right. Well, what about you, Swim? Yeah. Um Swim you're a cook. makes oh Swim makes multiple meals. He's a cook. He's a chef. I, I would not consider yeah, myself a chef. Yeah. You know who is a chef? Well, there's going to be a chef here later today. Okay. Chef Bob Haney of Heavenly okay. Waffles is oh, going to be coming. in the building. Nice. Chicken and waffles. Nice. Chicken. Today, I believe. I believe it. I, I know Heavenly Waffles is absolutely going to be in the building today, 8 to 11 a.m. So make sure you come on down and get ready for some waffles. Chicken and waffles. I, I'd probably go. I mean, the, the burgers, chicken breast, things like that are probably probably my go-tos. I, I love to grill. The Blackstone is is basically my, my safe space. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. What? I can, I, can't you just see a man in the grill? Yeah, I see him. Get the I, I get the get the chopped onions on yeah. on one burner. Yeah. Then it's like, wor- do you worry about the buns as well? Because you got to grill the buns a little bit just to get them a little crispier. Meat by itself. What kind of meat? Well, if it's a burger, it's a, it's, it's cow. <laughs> cow. Do your basic cow <laughs> meat. <laughs> I mean, well, you can do hot dogs. Yeah. I, and chicken. Yeah, I, I don't know if you'd really do hot dogs on the Blackstone. Yeah. You just probably normal. Oh, really? Normal, Is that normal, right? Normal. I've done grill. it. I've I mean, yeah, it. you well, could. You can do it. Yeah, yeah. you could. I, I I have yet to attempt breakfast on the blackstone okay the pancakes the bacon mm-hmm. i've never done the thing. pancakes i've done the the bacon how'd eggs. that go really 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 well really did you well. do eggs yeah, i did did them just the other day did, did, did for, for brunch did you yeah, yes for brunch on the hey, blackstone i would love it i would i, I want to try the, the breakfast on the blackstone i thought you would be more elaborate nick i mean I, i've made certain things like i've made chicken chimichangas and yeah. stuff and i've made Whoa. i've made Can you imagine Things sip, like that. Sip, what are you up to? Oh, I'm just making some chimichangas here at the house. <laughs> no, you can't imagine. It's like that. No, it's like the no. chimichangas, cilantro, lime, rice, and such. That's pretty much. That's that takes good patience. Stuff. Yeah, it takes. He likes the prep. He I have, likes the I, prep. I have yet to uh, perfect a chicken parm re- recipe. I need <clears> to figure out a chicken parm <laughs> recipe at times with the breading and all. So there's some things you got to work on. But nonetheless, all right, that'll do it for. Uh, for uh, uh, song of the day, yes. International Harvester by Craig Morgan. Don't forget, 
Uh, you guys can listen to it on your wherever you find your music. Yeah, that's what uh, I'll do. Spotify. <laughs> Spotify is fine. Yeah. Um. So, yeah. Uh, Apple. S- sponsored by Sarger Heyman, as always. Mailbag taken care of by our friends at Double Eagle Golf. Visit them in the Kinetic Sports Complex today. And if you didn't hear the breaking news, Jake is officially a father. Jake and yes, Elizabeth, congrats to them. Healthy. Very, very healthy. Healthy baby girl born at 627 a.m. in on Wednesday morning. So congrats to the Sorensons, and you'll hear from Jake next week. So, all right, let's talk a little bit more about Husker football and uh, turnover issues. We'll do that next as we break in the 7 o'clock hour on early break on the ticket. You're listening to Early Break with Steve Sippel, Jake Sorensen, and Bill Bush on 93.7 The Ticket and the theticketfm.com. Not many businesses can say they've made it 60 years, but Madsen's Bowling and Billiards can. With 12 bowling lanes and the biggest pool room in Nebraska, where else would you go to enjoy an afternoon or evening? There's a great daily specials like $2 Tuesdays, games of bowling, shoe rentals, draft beers, and tacos, all just $2 each. Have a delicious burger at EJ's Lounge before or after your bowling or pool session, and you'll leave satisfied. Madsen's Bowling and Billiards at 47th and Dudley. Community means something different to everyone. But for me, it means cheering on those around you during the good times and helping them out during the tough times. I'm softball player Jordy Ball, and I've been blessed with the support of my friends, family, coaches, and community throughout my life. When looking for a bank to call home, it was easy to choose Midwest Bank. I never feel like just another customer, and they're proud to support their communities. They love what they do, and it shows. Your community, your bank, Midwest Bank. Jake Sorensen here for The Body Shop. My wife is nearing her due date with our first child and has been in need of a good massage as her body continues to change and adapt. Dennis and the team at The Body Shop were incredible with the prenatal massage that she's still talking about today. I was also able to get a deep tissue massage, so it was a great bonding experience and a unique couple's massage in general. If you're in need of stress relief, book a massage today at thebodyshoplincoln.com, The Body Shop at 48th and A. This is Lancaster County Attorney Pat Condon reminding you to vote for my friend and colleague, Carolyn Bozen. Carolyn Bozen is a strong voice for Lincoln, who we need representing us in the legislature. Carolyn Bozen voted for historic funding for education to support our schools and for the largest property tax relief package in Nebraska history. Carolyn Bozen is the voice we need representing us in the legislature. This is Lancaster County Attorney Pat Condon. Join me in supporting Carolyn Bozen for legislature on May 14th. Paid for by Bozen for legislature. At Fairway Meat Market, your family, and as part of the family, they want to save you money on your meat and groceries. Now, through April 14th, enjoy USDA Choice Flat Iron Steaks for $9.99 per pound. All natural, boneless, skinless chicken breasts for $2.98 per pound. Duroc Pork Tenderloin for $3.99 per pound. And 4-ounce lobster tails for $6.99 each. That's all at Fairway Meat Market in the Rockledge Square Shopping Center, just south of 84th and Van Dorn. Looking for a job that feels like family? Join Lincoln Industries, where tradition meets innovation. They're a family-owned, privately held manufacturing company with a passion for excellence and a commitment to their community. They have openings on all shifts at both the main plant and air park facilities, offering flexibility to fit your schedule. Whether you're a seasoned professional or just starting out, there's a place for you there. At Lincoln Industries, they invest in their people's success, providing opportunities for growth and advancement. Apply now and become a part of something special at Lincoln Industries. Does it seem like your clothes dryer doesn't dry like it used to? It may not be your dryer. It may be your dryer vent. When the vent becomes obstructed, it drastically reduces the efficiency of your dryer. Even worse, it can be a fire hazard. Here's the simple solution. Call Bryant. Bryant will thoroughly clean the vent and show you the before and after results. Call 467-1111. Keep your dryer operating efficiently and your home safe. Bryant Air Conditioning, Heating, Electrical, and Plumbing. We do whatever it takes. Attention all Wings fans. 89 Cent Wings are back on Tuesdays at Buffalo Wings and Rings in Lincoln. Enjoy the best wings in town for boneless or traditional at a price that makes the whole family happy. And now at the Williamsburg Village Wings and Rings, you can enjoy $1.50 Tall Boys in Bud Light, Coors Light, Bush Light, and Michelob Ultra every day after 7 p.m. and all day on Sundays. Get to Wings and Rings today and make sure to stop by on Tuesdays for 89 Cent Wings. 
Rico here with HIS Auto Care at 70th and Van Dorn, letting you know HIS is a great place to bring your vehicle for service. With superior service, bumper to bumper, we'll treat your vehicle like it's your mother's. Doesn't get any better than that. So call 402-488-8934 and HIS Auto will make you glad you did. 5% off, mention this ad, and for sure your mother will be proud you called. 402-488-8934, HIS Auto Care, 7th and Van Doren. God bless you. I see the future in our public school classrooms every day. I'm Jenny Benson, president of the Nebraska State Education Association. I also see how critically important parent and community support is to our students' success. Support your public schools. Get involved. Form a business school partnership or become a school volunteer. Great schools and great communities work hand in hand. Sponsored by the Nebraska State Education Association, aired by the Nebraska Broadcasters Association in this station. With the Planet Fitness Black Card, you don't just get a great workout, you get a great perk out because your membership is packed with perks. For $1 down and $24.99 a month, you'll get perks like access to any of our 2,400 clean and spacious locations. Bring your friend anytime and both work out with tons of equipment that'll give you that big fitness energy. Relax in the Black Card Spa and more. Work out and perk out with the PF Black Card. Join for just $1 down and $24.99 a month. Hurry. This deal ends soon. See Home Club for details. Buckle up and hang on. This is going to be a good one. The fans of Kansas Speedway know how to have a good time. One that celebrates fantastic finishes oh, and family-friendly facilities. Trading paint. We got beauty. And tailgating tradition. Burnouts, beer, and barbecue. Oh, it'll for sure be a good time. And you are all invited. NASCAR weekend at Kansas Speedway, May 4th and 5th. Get your tickets now at kansasspeedway.com. The Nebraska legislature will soon vote to raise consumer prices by imposing a sales tax on advertising. Nebraska's small businesses would be hit hardest, forcing them to raise prices, meaning we'd all pay more for the things we need. Contact your state senator and tell them no ad tax. Visit noadtaxnebraska.com to find your senator's contact information. That's noadtaxnebraska.com. A message from the Nebraska Broadcasters Association and this station. Wake up, Lincoln. I overslept. Damn rooster didn't crow. It's time for Early Break. Sponsored by Midwest Bank. Live from Lincoln, America. Here's 93.7 at tickets, Jake Sorensen. I'm wrong, but I'm not. Husker Online, Steve Sipple. If I were a feral cat. And longtime college football assistant coach, Bill Bush. You get one team. Mine's the Houston Oilers. I'm, so, not, I'm not the Texans, and I'm not the Titans, so, so I'm out. So, this is Early Break. Yes, yes, we are back here. Early break on the ticket. Nick Sainer filling in for one of the newest dads in Lincoln, Jake Sorensen. <laughs> that's, a good, that's a good one. Yeah. Safe to say. <laughs> Safe to say. Jake Sorensen is Steve Simple, Bill Bush alongside. Hour number two, sponsored by our friends at Midwest Bank. Member FDIC. Bill, what has Shin Daddy got going on today? He had, Great. To, he had to do a brief. Uh, national press conference yesterday to just reconfirm where FDIC was at and how everyone because he invented it. So he has to. <laughs> so once a year he has to get kind of a state of the union of where <laughs> FDIC is at. So we gave a state of the union where FDIC was at and, and how things are protected. Yeah, I did. So it, it was that. Yeah, it was on C-SPAN. Yeah. <laughs> do people do people stand up and 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 interject? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> they ask a few questions. So Steve, serious. Yes, yeah, serious. Steve answers some questions. No and, levity. No, and it, it's just then it, this. There moves, can't be. There, there, there's not a lot of a, it. It's it's you know. There's no such. There, always, there's no such thing as a dumb question. But there, people are pretty guarded. It's like Steve's got this. They don't ask a lot. It's kind of Steve is FDIC still in a good place. It is, and that's kind of where it doesn't go real deep because he's got it all figured out. A lot of stuff going on every day with him. See what I mean? You're learning about Shindy. He definitely has a a side to him that's creative and even funny. Yep. But it. I mean, it's FDIC serious stuff. So he has a very serious, very side. serious. But he's also have on the lighter side today, which is nice. what's today. Well, today it's it's competitive culture, and he has brought in uh, <laughs> for for the whole town to enjoy professional sumo wrestling. So they will come in in the lobby, and there will be sumo wrestling that goes on in the lobby of the bank. 
And so get a chance to expand your culture, expand <laughs> your, your, your sporting knowledge and get a chance to understand the culture and the history behind sumo wrestling. And then there, then there's eight wrestlers that have come in to compete. You're okay. This just seems like, Oh no, it's true. They got, you know, how the ring set up. You got to knock him out of the ring to win the sumo yeah. wrestling. Yeah. So he's got that all set up. He has a mat. mat. He's got a mat down. Com also, also competitive sumo wrestling. You frame this up as competitive yeah. culture. Yes. <laughs> competitive culture. culture. Yeah. Sumo wrestling in Creighton, Nebraska. Who would have thunk? Uh, so they bring, you bring in these mammoth sumos. Su yes. Eight of them. Eight. Yeah. Eight of them. Yes, they're also going to do a little, and little, they will compete. Yeah, and there'll be a press conference. There'll be a Q and A uh, with them also, just talking about how they got started in it and how things got going. That, that is a great yeah. cultural experience. You'll yes. be able to hear that audio on the ticket later today. Yeah. We'll, we'll cut that up. We'll, we'll play. My sister is the the translator. Yeah, if they have any, if there's if there's, if there's any sort of any there needs to be. Well, would handled, they need translation? There might be some translation yeah. issues. Yeah. That, and, and Tamara handles that. Tamara can handle. Yes, that. she can. Yes multiple languages this is going to be an experience for people when they walk in if they don't know what's going on it'd be a lot i think if you first walked in you just want to get a cashier's check there's a big dude over there with no clothes on <laughs> <laughs> with a strap <laughs> yeah and they're, and they're trying to knock each other out yeah. of the ring and what's going on here and especially if you walk in during a match during a match it gets heated it gets loud <laughs> Down downtown scott asks does he have the traditional hut in place for pre-wrestling meditation uh, you know what? That is a great question. I know that Steve delved into that. I'm not sure where it's at, but I'm sure it's set up. He doesn't miss anything, but that's a great question. Thank it is. You. Yeah. A yes. hut. A hut. Downtown Scott. You could have that outside. Yes. I think. I don't well, know. They, well, they could be on gravel because because they put the gravel in uh, to replace the uh, skating rink. Yes. <laughs> the skating rink is gone. The skating rink is gone. We're done skating. So anyway. Had the, nah, had I've had never the, heard him do this one before. Now, this is a new one. Yeah. yeah this is a new one. Creative culture. This is in Creighton, Nebraska. Do you know where Creighton is, Swim? It's it's near Omaha. <laughs> no, it's not. It's about 30 minutes away from Omaha, correct? I, I do have, uh, you know what? This is actually bad because my, my girlfriend has family in Creighton, Nebraska. Yeah, you better it, get the, them. So you out. know Creighton, Nebraska and Creighton University, not the same. <laughs> I, oh, I do know that. I, I don't do. think I, you do. I, you I said well it's in aware. Omaha. I, you I said, said it was in Omaha. Omaha. It's not I even near. near. It's not remotely it, near Omaha. Is it not like 30 minutes away? Not even close. Oh, that's a shame. Not even close. Matter of fact, from Omaha, it's a good solid three hours. Oh, dang. Yeah, straight north of Norfolk. Well, that's not, I did not know that. Yeah, it's, it's basically so. I'm you're not, you're you're 15 miles from South Dakota. I am aware. <laughs> yes. It's close to Omaha. <laughs> is it isn't one of your colleagues from from Creighton? One of my colleagues. Isn't Grant from Creighton? Grant Hansen. I don't think so. Oh, maybe I'm maybe I'm thinking wrong. Yeah. Nonetheless. That's okay. That's okay. He might be and I don't know. I don't but, know. I, but I wouldn't I don't uh, think so. That's a shame. Did they have sumo wrestling on Wild World of Sports Brad? Brad our uh, friend Brad. Our Brad. Friend Brad from the Slow Pitch Softball teammate Brad. Yeah, and from the Baldwin shop. Wide world of sports. They might have had they may have had it there. Sumos. They may have had that. Sumos. Well, they're gonna they're gonna be in Creighton today. Right. So Creighton, Nebraska. Close to close to Warm North Fork. North Fork. Yeah, North right Matt, by, Matt by Omaha. Says, yeah, right Matt by says, Omaha. Matt says, holy bleep swim. Talk yeah. about a swing and a miss. <laughs> <laughs> I missed it. You That's missed okay. that one. That's right. The it best part you said in Omaha. Then you said no, it's 30 miles. It's outside the suburbs of just, Omaha. Just outside of it's it. outside of Omaha. Hop, skip, and a jump. <laughs> Another 200 miles outside. Let's <laughs> talk oh, turnovers. Near, yeah. near or far. Um, all right. So going back to Nebraska football here, Matt Rule mentioned yesterday turnovers, and and everybody was aware that Nebraska was pretty pretty awful at uh, turnovers last year. Negative minus 17 in turnover margin. Sip, I know you have a lot of the numbers since 2009. I believe only two of two seasons since 2009. Nebraska's finished plus in turnover margin. Is that correct? Yeah, I don't know. I only went to 209 because that that there's a website, college football stat website that just went back to 209. I think, yeah, I mean, there's only been two times. That's exactly right. Swim since 2009. It was 2009 was one of them. They were plus five. You might remember that. Um, mm -hmm. That was when Nebraska played Texas in Jerry's world. That was when they had a lot of good players on defense. Number one yeah. total defense in the country. Yeah. That was there loaded up with like some some guys that that Bill recruited Eric Hag, um, oh, Eric Hag, yeah, and yeah. Ama Kamara, and Ama Kamara was yeah. back there, and I think Eric had, Hag had a great interception in overtime in Ames, Iowa, against the Iowa State Cyclones in overtime yeah. to to seal the game. Yeah, though that was an incredible. It was obviously Sue and who was who else was on that line? Was Crick on that line? I think Crick was on that. Jared line. Jared Crick would have been on that, that line. Freaky defense, yeah. but so they were plus five. 
And then the other plus team was 2016 when they, you know, the last Nebraska bowl team, they were also plus five. Mm. So yeah, only two times. And I think if you go back to 2006, it's still two times. Yeah. Um, so that's, I mean, it's really incredible. If you think about it. Nebraska's only been plus um, in the turnover category two times since 2006. Yeah. I mean, if you want to. It's one of the biggest predictors there is in wins and losses. For wins and losses. I mean, it's just like, it is, it is, it would be the number one predictor. Yeah. Like, it's like, okay, played great on both sides of the ball. We had three turnovers. They had none. Probably not going to end well. Probably not, not going to end well. It was also, uh, it's cause it came up last night when I was in conversation with someone that, that they had mentioned that uh, Nebraska had 13 takeaways. One was on special teams, which means defensively right. they were one a game. Which is which is low. That's low. That's a low. Now they yeah. couldn't have over the, the the defense could not have have taken the over and put them into a positive. There was too many turnovers too to many. ever to get close. Thirty one. So that you're not going to all of a sudden. That, well, we nailed it. So we end up we had thirty one, but we but we got thirty nine. If you yeah. force thirty two turnovers, that's an incredible, incredible. Number. Yeah. So I, I'm sure that that's also a conversation of 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 working towards obviously <clears throat> more turnovers. You know, guys, if you just Zoom out for a second, okay? In swim, you get this as a journalist. People ask people ask you, "What happened to Nebraska football? Why why the decline?" You can do this. I mean, just listen to the show and then zoom out. There's two major reasons we've talked about today. There's two major reasons you could say when people ask you the question, say, "Well, they've only been plus in turnovers two times since 2006." That's one. And Bill mentioned another one. They've only had one first round draft pick since 2011. Those are two major reasons why Nebraska slid. No yeah. first round draft picks since 2011, and they're never plus in the turnover category. Mm -hmm. It's incredible. Those are two. Yeah. You can swim. You can, when people ask you at a party, like because I party, like at or you're a saying, wedding. Say you're at, at, at uh, Great Plains Hotel. Yeah. And all of a sudden, <laughs> if that's someone asks, what do you guys, what do you think, swim? You're there. Right. You can, you can do you're it. there. I can't say I've ever been to the Great Plains yeah. Motel. I can say I've but, been there, but that is very got a drink dumped on you. Know, yeah. Highly intelligent. It is. Yeah. It's like this. this, this Those are two major to. reasons. You could probably go back to uh, obviously you had the time with you know with Sue and Prince and those guys, Egg. but just go back to just first team All Big Ten. Right. How many first team All Big Ten mm -hmm. players have you? Oh, had? It's dried up. Mm -hmm. Don't get me started. I do this. People get so tired of it, but I, I go down that road all the time, Bill. If you if you if it dries up and you don't have any first teamers, you're yeah. probably in trouble, and that's what yeah. Nebraska's experienced. Yeah, they hardly ever ever have first teamers anymore. It's I mean it's interesting because like you you look back to the defense two seasons ago and and obviously Bill you were a part of that, but then also last year with Tony White, where it's not that the it's not a negative towards the defense specifically in terms of takeaways mm -hmm. it's a negative in the offense in terms of turning it over yeah and i thought sean made an interesting point when we talked to him about quarterback run game mm -hmm. about the quarterback run game right because i mean go back to last year guys specifically since we want to talk about in the scope of of minus 17 mm -hmm. the all of the issues at quarterback mm -hmm. and the not even second guessing but just not knowing how you want to operate, I think, at quarterback hurt them a little bit because it was like, okay, Jeff Sims, you go out and get this guy. You, you make the comment preseason that he's an NFL type of quarterback. Then he comes out instantly game one and doesn't show it, right? And I understand, like, you don't want to just instantly pull the leash back and say, okay, you're done. But also, they didn't have depth behind him. They didn't have somebody that was really able to come in and be consistently productive, I think. Like, granted, yes, Nebraska at one point last season was five and three. Yeah, but Heinrich was, was five and three. What was the reason behind them finishing five and seven? You can you could talk about quarterback play. You could talk. I mean, we can we can zoom in. You talked about zooming out. We can also zoom in on certain position groups mm -hmm. and say they just didn't have guys that maybe could make plays on offense. <sighs> There's a lot there. I mean, a lot. I mean, the Heinrich was five and three as he a was. Starter. He was. But he it's, had moments. It's not, I was say it's not like that. There were there were moments where you scratched your head and said, "Man, is this really the best that Nebraska could give?" I think there were moments. Yeah, there there were disappointing performances at times. Well, of course, Nebraska's defense stepped up time and time again at times last year. It did. did, it did. But I don't go down that road too far. Of 
they were a stalwart unit you could always count on. No, they weren't. Nope. They they didn't get off the field at times. No, like, they didn't. Against Wisconsin, for instance. They were also on the field a lot. That's true. That's a good point, Swim. Uh, uh, they're they're on the field quite a bit. That's a good a point. They're put in tough positions by turnovers a lot of the time. That's they, a good point. There's some tough spots. Yeah, that's a good point. But there were times, too, when they needed to get off the field, and they didn't. They didn't get off. No, they didn't. So, yeah, they were 11th nationally, though. It was a good defense. Mm -hmm. But there's definitely, I guarantee you, it's not hard for Tony White to show his guys, hey, here's here's where we can be better. Because there's plenty of examples mm -hmm. on film. Um, they're good, but now the, back to the conversation, do they have a guy on that defense that you, that could take them, that could help drag them to the next level? Let's talk about the mailbag question. Yeah, who, go ahead. Who, who can, who can you count on to say, yep, if we, we need an interception, we need a takeaway, whether that's a forced fumble. Like I go back to the Levante David against Ohio state. What was that? 2011? Yeah. 2010 potentially. Yeah. When he, yeah. Um, when he just changed it, game. stripped it out of Ohio state's hands. Yeah. Who, who's that guy for Nebraska's defense know. right now? Do they have a guy I don't know. right now like that? Well, he didn't present himself last year. No, there would mean that would just so yeah, we we've seen him do this mm -hmm. over and over again. Turnovers are something that are they're very dicey in the conversation because you get into the part first of all, the uh five year study we did at LSU was when the ball comes out on a fumble, it's like eighty two percent it's on the first contact. It's not the second guy coming in. It's the, the initial shot. All of a sudden, the ball's there. Quarterback has it in the pocket. Boom, first shot. That's when the ball comes out. It's not, and we all teach, hey, the second guy in, rip the ball. Usually the second guy in, the, the, he's pretty clutched up. So the first initial shot. So then they have to be really good at because I've seen this one too, people trying to get the ball out while the running back's still running down the field. And they're punching at it, right, and right. because if, if you get to your to, if you if you get to your coach, like coach, I'm trying to make a play. You said turnovers, or in an interception ball, that's when you lose your mind. Coach, I was just trying to make a play. I went for the pick. I sh when he shouldn't have went for the pick. I'm just trying to make a play. So if you start preaching, you've got to make interceptions. You have to make the interceptions every time that they make a mistake. Mm -hmm. When when the quarterback makes an error, mm -hmm. that's that's when you have to be able to make your plays or within the concept of the defense. Right. So, yeah, you bas basically what Bill Swim, what I was going to say is I don't know that you can say, say to a defense, okay, who's the guy that's going to force the turnover? I'm not, I don't say that. I say, who's the guy that's going to make the play? Turnovers, if, if you're making a lot of plays, maybe the turnovers will come, but I don't yep. say who's going to make, who's going to, who's going to go get well, the ball. And, I don't say that. I just say, who's going to make the play? Yeah. Well, who's going to make the play? And I think, I think it all kind of works intertwined with itself right and, and correct me if i'm wrong bill but like it's it's get pressure to the quarterback force him to maybe be in an uncomfortable spot yeah force him to make a split second decision and it might not be the right one everything to have positive things happen the turnover comes comes down to a couple things it's really simple it's all it's roll call on the ball how, how many guys do you get to the mm -hmm. football and the effort to the football that's where that's where it comes then you have opportunities the ball gets knocked out you're in position to build a scoop whatever it is effort and in in bodies population to the ball yeah that those are the things that that, that get you in, in in opportunities to have things happen if there's yeah. population and pass rush the pass rush. all of a sudden he has to make a move because yeah. he's there's, there's great push in the middle yeah. and also he's got to try to spin out all of a sudden boom there's someone there that havoc when the, that's when the ball is loose havoc. or a potential of it being loose during that time uh, you know what you want you want havoc you want the quarterback to be freaking out Mm -hmm. yeah. And I've also seen so every place you have every place does turnover circuits. Everyone does it, and then there's some places that just do it way better. And the ones that have the anticipation of of the drill and how important it is to the drill, and not just like yeah, yeah, we do a turnover drill and go through the motions. So when we like at LSU, I ran the turnover circuit, and so we kept track of every ball. So the top five guys got new pair of shoes for what they got out turnovers in practice and we kept a running total what now and really? so and so like on we had turnover day on tuesday so on wednesday coach o would post up and he would show the drill he would show the whether there be two ball all the different drills we had and whatever the turnovers were that they they got the ball out during that drill right there their name went up and so that was covered so the first thing that was covered on wednesday was turnover circuit which goes back to coach o's if we drill it we film it. if we film it we watch it. if we watch it we fix it so those four things. Whoa! And so, nice. and so, he, so the so don't do Whoa. the little things and don't 
you got you better film it and you better watch it and you better show it to them and you better fix it. So that was the things you go through. There's a coaching clinic yeah. right there. That's pretty awesome. Let's uh let's take it a was. break. Let's take a break. When we come back, Nebraska basketball. How about them? Get another commitment. How about that? Fred. How about that? They got a shooter. They they did. A legitimate shooter. They did. We'll tell you all about it when we come back. Early break on the ticket. By the way, I did forget about this. This segment sponsored by our friends at First Rate Ag. I forgot about this, guys. Not second rank. Don't, it's not, not second, not second rank. rank. They have everything you need for lawn fertilizer and more. Call them today, 308-995-8327. Or you can go to firstrateag.com. Make sure that you ask for Parker or Chris. And what do you guys have to what do they have to mention, guys? The ticket. There it is. Mention <laughs> you the get ticket. 20% off uh, off of all lawn furniture for all lawn fertilizer today from 8:30. To eight thirty-seven. <laughs> so if you get there right? for the seven minutes in that window right okay, there, you got to get there. Yeah, get there right there. Got yep. so eight thirty to eight thirty-seven is twenty percent off all lawn fertilizer. Time it up. Time it up and get there at that. <clears throat> now you probably might have to deal with uh, who will be in the office. Someone is always there, but there's a really good chance right now that uh, Parker and Chris they're out. They're out putting down fertilizer right now. They're mm -hmm. working. Just, that rain they've had. I mean, the things are going. Oh, things rain are, yesterday. Things yeah. things are getting green, and, just, and they're protecting it. You just got to mention the ticket. That's all yeah. it is. Mention the ticket. Once again, first rate ag in Holdridge. Give them a call today. 308-995-8327. Now we can take a break. Come right back. Talk Husker hoops. <laughs> You're listening to early break with Steve Sippel, Jake Sorensen, and Bill Bush on 93.7, the ticket and the ticket FM.com. Constructors is now hiring for all positions, with laborers starting at $23 and up based on experience. Constructors has immediate job openings for laborers, mechanics, bridge builders, operators, and drivers. Start your new career today. Constructors offers great pay, health, dental, and vision insurance, paid time off, paid holidays, and so much more. Join the crew today and be a part of Nebraska's oldest paving company dating back to 1908. For a complete list of openings and to apply online, visit ConstructorsLincoln.com. I see the future in our public school classrooms every day. I'm Jenny Benson, president of the Nebraska State Education Association. I also see how critically important parent and community support is to our students' success. Support your public schools. Get involved. Form a business school partnership or become a school volunteer. Great schools and great communities work hand in hand. Sponsored by the Nebraska State Education Association, aired by the Nebraska Broadcasters Association in this station. Do you need motivation to get to the gym on the weekend or even in general? Tune into the Movement Hour each Saturday from 10 to 11 a.m. Movement Academy owner Robert Kuhlman will host the show as he introduces new ways to stay in shape. The Movement Hour, every Saturday morning from 10 to 11 a.m. on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. 93.7 The Ticket, Fox KFXL Weather. Sponsored by John Henry's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning. Your Lincoln forecast for today, we'll see mainly sunny skies, and it will be breezy and after high around 73. Tonight, a chance of showers and storms will roll around 45. And tomorrow, we'll see a few showers in Lincoln, gradually becoming partly sunny by the afternoon. See a high around 58. The meteorologist Kyle Tucker for 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. A team succeeds when they work together. Banking's no different. At UBT, we're in your corner for every financial move you want to make. Your money's backed by a roster of experts who put in the work to know you and your community. So whether you're opening a savings account, buying a home, or planning your future, you always know who to turn to. Working together toward your financial goals, that's a win in our playbook. Union Bank and Trust, Equal Housing Lender Member FDIC. When we're looking out for a homeowner, we're always keeping their budget in mind. We try to maximize things that are important to them. Bob Benish is the founder and president of Aspen Builders, online at aspenbuildersinc.com. So we really try to maximize the size because five years from now, you can't just make your house bigger. The one thing I can tell you is that most builders in Lincoln, we all are about the same price. The difference comes in the products that we put in and the way we put in those products. The old saying, you get what you pay for, is pretty accurate when you're building a home. If you put nicer windows in and you put nicer cabinets, it's going to cost a little bit more. You know, if those things are important to you, then you want to do it. We can try to incorporate in your floor plan and get a house that you're going to be happy with. 
Make your dream home a reality and call Aspen Builders at 423-6811. Online at aspenbuildersinc.com. Your home is waiting at Aspen Builders. With the Planet Fitness Black Card, you don't just get a great workout. You get a great perk out because your membership is packed with perks. For $1 down and $24.99 a month, you'll get perks like access to any of our 2,400 clean and spacious locations. Bring your friend anytime and both work out with tons of equipment that'll give you that big fitness energy. Relax in the Black Card Spa and more. Work out and perk out with the PF Black Card. Join for just $1 down and $24.99 a month. Hurry. This deal ends soon. See Home Club for details. Spring often marks the beginning of severe weather, which can lead to power outages. LES wants you to be prepared before the storm. Restock your emergency kit. Update your info with LES. And if you encounter an outage, report it at LES.com slash report. If you're looking for a pre-owned tractor to upgrade your operation this year, you'll find a wide selection at your local Landmark Implement. We'll work with you to find the right equipment for your needs at a price that's right for you, all backed by Landmark's extensive parts and service network. During the month of April, get financing as low as 3.9% for up to 72 months on model year 21 through 23 wheeled 8R tractors. Visit LandmarkImp.com to see our complete inventory or stop by your local Landmark location today and experience the Landmark difference. Finally, a good reason to have a smart house. Just say, Alexa, play 93.7 The Ticket, and we'll magically start playing. How's it work? Nobody knows. Don't ask questions. This, anybody who knows me knows I was cocky out of the womb. (laughs) Is Early Break with Sip and Jig, brought to you by Gaina Trucking. Weekday mornings from 6 to 8 on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Welcome back into Early Break on the Ticket. Nick Sainert, Steve Sipple, Bill Bush with you. Nebraska men's basketball received another commitment last night. This time, or yesterday afternoon, I should say. Yes, this time in the form of six foot eight, 193 pound guard Gavin Griffiths mm-hmm. from the University of Rutgers. Played in 32 games for Steve Peichel. Averaged 5.8 points per game. Has three years of eligibility remaining. Gavin Griffiths was the number 23 overall recruit in the country in the class of 2023. Nebraska now added Raleigh Worcester, Andrew Morgan, and Gavin Griffiths to the fold. Still four open scholarships for the upcoming season for the Nebraska Cornhusker. Simple, what do you like about Gavin Griffiths? (laughs) I'm telling you, he's a shooter. Now, his numbers aren't great. Um, He shot only 28.2%. Um, behind so we need the to be, he's a now, shooter, on, just not a maker. No, well, hold on. No, he's a shooter and a maker. But but twenty eight point two percent. He didn't have a great year. He's thirty one for one ten from behind the arc. Thirty one of one hundred and ten. But he did. Now I remember watching it, and he did kind of catch a heater late in the season. He did. He hit a couple threes against Nebraska, and I mean he's a he's a he's a deep three shooter. Um, he Big scored. Body. I like the length. Yeah, he's got length. Yeah, he's got goggles. He averaged in his. Let's see. In the uh, he hit ten of his final twenty eight three point mm-hmm. tries, which is that's pretty good. Thirty five thirty five point seven percent over his last four games, and that's when I, I mean, he was a guy that came on late, and I and I watched a couple of Rutgers mm-hmm. games, and he, listen, he can shoot. He's, that's what he is. He was a top 50 recruit for Rutgers, mm-hmm. bona fide top 50 guy, has length, and he'll and he's a deep three shooter. So he'll be a good. It's an interesting one to me just because in, anytime someone transfers in conference, mm-hmm. I think it's always just unusual. It's very unique. That's just not your norm. It's, uh, yeah. The transfer. We're in. seeing it more now, unfortunately. Yeah. I say yeah. unfortunately. Yeah. I don't, I'm Agreed. not big on it. Mm-hmm. I'm not big I, on. It. I, I will say this. I, I like the p. I like the piece of uh, info where it's three years of eligibility remaining. I think that's that's something to kind of yep. uh, take note of. It's not a grad guy. Um, mm-hmm. Nebraska. Nebraska is in an interesting spot now. Granted, with the transfer portal, it's easy to remake and reshift your roster or reshape your roster. Um, however, you don't want to have to do that every single year. So, <laughs> for, especially for Fred Hoiberg specifically, right. at a place like Nebraska. It's a positive to get a, a a guy in Gavin Griffiths who you hope is turns into 
a CJ Wilcher, right? Like CJ Wilcher around. came here and and was here for three years and played a, a pretty valuable role, whether that mm-hmm. was off the bench. And he had a he struggled in 2023, but you remember the first half of this season, man. CJ Wilcher was a big part of Nebraska basketball. So success. how many have we signed so far? So or, or three, 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 three. So will all seven be portal? I would imagine so. Cause this, 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 that, that includes yes. Nick Janowski. Um, by the way, that Nebraska was also targeting John Hughley, Hugley, mm-hmm. a former Oklahoma guy. He transferred initially from Pitt last year, transferred from Pitt. Nebraska was in his final couple of schools last season, chose Oklahoma. He transferred out of Oklahoma this year. Nebraska was in his top two again, and he chose Xavier over Nebraska. So there's something about that. Uh, maybe John Hugley the third doesn't want to come to Nebraska. Uh, but I, I think I think the the pain guy from Minnesota is still on Nebraska's radar. Obviously, Frankie Fiddler, the former UNO Maverick, is mm-hmm. is on Nebraska's radar. Um, unlike football, though, we're, we're still relatively in the in the heart of the process of, of transfer portal season with college basketball. Well, yeah, it's Fred's got to add four more, right? Yes. So there it's interesting, Bill, right now, the way the scholarship distribution is on Fred's team. He has one, two, three, four, five, six seniors and eight freshmen. And then what then they he just added a sophomore. That's it. No, mm-hmm. no redshirt freshman, one sophomore, no juniors. Yeah. So I mean, as it's constructed right now, He's going to lose a lot next year. Yeah. So what we're doing, and this is just the college game, is you are replacing a lot of your roster every single year. You're looking at it next year, too. Yes. I mean, you have these seniors. It's a good senior yeah. class he's got right now. Yeah. Juwan Gary, Rink. We'll see if Rink comes back. We don't know yet. Rink Mast, Bryce Williams, Aaron Eulis. Now they've added Andrew Morgan and Raleigh Worcester. Yeah. But those are one and one and dunners. Yep. So, yeah. It's so difficult. If you to to hit on every year, that is that is. I mean, you're rolling the dice, aren't you? It's really tough. It is really tough. Like they say, okay, we're just going every year going to go out and try to get a A new roster. That that's every place. That's just not here. Just just think, because sometimes all of a sudden, you know, like uh, they were. I was listening to a pundit talk about Arkansas, and and uh, the coach left to go to uh, USC, and he's well known as being a very good coach. They've been to the final. And it's like what they asked, like, what happened? And he goes, he just didn't hit on his portal guys. They weren't locker room guys. They were had talent, had this. But there's so much more to it than just six eight shooter. I know. How is he in the locker room? Does he play defense? Kind of Does he buy it? into yeah. all the things that go with it? All these little things that come up. Mm-hmm. And sometimes it's really hard to be able to hit on all those all those uh little things to make sure your locker room is right. How, yeah. about, how about the Kyle Perry mm-hmm. comment? I, I I had to meet with the team. team. But we don't have a team. There is no team. team. There is no. There is no team. Met with the team. There There is is no no team. team. There's no. There's no one here. Yeah, like like two guys maybe. Strange. Strange. Couple interesting notes just on college basketball in general, not Nebraska centric. Uh, Former Husker Jamarcus Lawrence. Yes. Ended up committing to Rhode Island close to home yesterday. Um. So Jamarcus is going back close to home, as Sip said to to Rhode Island. I don't know if you guys saw the Arizona big man Omar uh, Balo. Uh, commit to Indiana. Really? He, he's ending up, he's seven foot one, going to go to Indiana. Asking price for Omar Barlow, $1.2 million in NIL for one year. For that one year. Yeah. So there you go. So uh, he he getting a, a pretty nice paycheck from, from the Indiana Hoosiers. All right. Let's, it's time for Bill's Thrills on a Wednesday. Bill, you ready? I'm ready. All right. Here we go. Some call him the most interesting man in the world. That is setting up the morel mushroom yes. bonanza. Oh, yeah. yeah. This is going to be a bonanza. Right. Mushrooms grow better with thunder and lightning. Others call him coach. But to everyone else, he's Bill. I want to get one of those military ab stimulators for us to wear during the show. You see, I sent you today. It's time for Bill's Thrills on Early Break. Sponsored by Dirk, Scott, and Ty at Mid Plains Advisors. That is right. It is sponsored by our friends at Mid Plains Advisors. Dirk, Scott, and Ty. Call them today, 402-730-7387. To schedule your free financial consultation today, it's a Them's Fighting Words Wednesday. Is that them's correct? Them's Fighting Words, and you know who you don't fight? Dirk, Scott, and Ty. There you don't go. fight it. Don't fight those guys unless you want to get yourself in a big pickle with people making you money. Like that. So I would. That's the last thing. Don't raise your voice to any of them. 
just be super kind <laughs> and thank them for the advice and walk on and then Don't just go then just go cash your check at the end of each week. Just like, okay, thank you. Thank you for the nine thousand dollars. <laughs> I appreciate that very much. That's what they can do for you. Put your head so down. You put your head down. Don't raise your voice with them whatsoever. Them's fighting words. Never compromise the line. Respect for the line. Anytime there's a line, there's a common respect for the line of how it maneuvers, who can segue in, all those things that you can go on for hours of someone trying to cut the line. I've been through it in detail with the car driving. Salt Lake City Airport, the closest I've been to actually throwing hands. <laughs> the closest I've ever been to actually physically going after someone. It when was, was this? This was two days, whatever it was. Two, this was Saturday. Saturday. <laughs> Saturday. We're in line, and we're in, in Delta and Salt Lake. That's a hub. It's crazy busy. Not bad, it's a Saturday, but it's crazy Saturday busy. Saturday morning? Saturday morning. So we're getting ourselves through. And you know how they have the lines? They keep opening different lines up, and you're zigzagging back and forth to get through security? Yeah. So I get there, and I'm up, and we're up. I'm about, we're about six back from going, from getting our, our, getting scanned and getting checked by the guy who's checking our IDs and, and things. So we're good. Lady behind me, I'm sure, very nice lady. So all of a sudden, she's like, oh. And I look back, she had pulled out like a Tupperware thing out of her purse for some reason, and it fell open on the floor. And all these, and she had diced up tomatoes and cucumbers. Oh, fell back. I was like, oh, man, what? I, I, she goes, oh, no, it wasn't you. I just dropped it. She all embarrassed, and there's 1,000 people. Out there. I go, don't worry about it. We got this. Just just relax. Like, that, like any anyone would do. This is not like a special deal. So I'm picking up cucumbers and tomatoes and putting them back in there, getting ready to go like that. Dude tries to come by us, tries to bypass her. I, I, I jumped up and went handed right there. Don't even think about it. Do not even think about this. Oh, I did. I said, Dude. hand in the air. Hand in the air. Hand right there. Step back. I said, the lady does not lose her spot because she dropped some awesome. cucumbers and tomatoes. So we got the cucumbers and tomatoes back and she got right back in place. And I, I looked at him just like, I, I gave him the, are you, are you serious? He tried to said instead of maybe how about this one? Maybe try to pick up a cucumber. Yeah. Try that one out. Yeah. Instead of, he, he tried to like slide by. And I'm like, and I'm, I, I gave the old respect the line. <laughs> Things that bother it. Them's fighting words. I you wanted to throw hands. Respect the line. Gonna throw hands. I wanted to throw hands. Yeah. I was I was gonna throw I'm glad hands. Glad you didn't. Did not throw hands not like that. that. That's good. There, there was a afraid. lot, there was a lot of people looking around too, like going like thank yeah, you. Yeah. Thank you for respecting yeah. the, the line. That's, That's yes. how it works here. But the poor lady like that. Fascinating. The guy tried to sneak by. Yeah. The guy mm -hmm. tried to sneak Did by. You see a lot of questionable be behavior in airports. Oh, you see a lot. A lot. No, I, 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 I'll tell you an enjoyable story. Guy comes by, young, young kid coming through. Obviously, we, I kind of hear him coming from the back. Hey, can I get through? Can I get through? And I'm like, well, what's going on? I go, he goes, he goes, hey, my plane's leaving in 20 minutes. And I, I, I go, I go. Do you ever think about leaving earlier? <laughs> <laughs> he turns around. He goes, oh, I know it. I left my, uh, my wallet. Back at, at the house, and then my girlfriend couldn't pick it up, and she couldn't find it, so I had to go back to the house. He can do this whole story. I go, just go, just man. Go, man. <laughs> just go, man. Just go. Just go. I when yeah. somebody comes through in a panic, yeah. I also yeah, I also respect the line in that fashion. Right. I'm gonna let the one person yeah. go that all of a sudden comes through. But it also amazed me that if you wanted to, you could go from zero to first. I mean, from 80th to first in four seconds if you want to. Just look panicked on your face and go, hey, I'm sorry, I screwed up. Okay, that's <laughs> you, interesting. You, you can whiz through it. Yeah. You have to, but but you no one violate does, the line. But no one does that. Mm. You know what? No one does that. You on don't the, see it. They don't make it up. No. Th that kid's face was, I screwed up. I left my stuff at home. My girlfriend couldn't get the stuff right. to me. I've got to be on this plane in 20 minutes, and we're kind of cheering him on, except <laughs> for the guy. Right. All right, I get with the hand. How about that? Try to cut the line. How about that? Respect. The line. I don't think I've ever in an airport had someone give me the hand. Yeah. Like, well, I've never tried. Well, to why cut would you? you? Yeah, I don't you think trying I'm trying to, do, to cut. Trying to get by some lady that just dropped a whole Tupperware full of cucumbers and tomatoes, <laughs> and trying to slide by her instead of trying to help pick them up. Yeah, that's not right. Yeah, yeah. God bless you. The, that's an interesting words. one. Salt yeah. Lake City, Salt Lake Saturday City. morning. We got a couple things from the text line here. Uh, Jake and Hickman says people weren't paying attention in grade school when they taught not to cut in line. Exactly. Uh, Kevin in Waukee says, respect for Bill. Way to stand up for the cucumber lady. Yes, exactly. Yes. Uh, somebody asked, was simple in Utah at the Delta line? <laughs> no. That's a shot. It's a shot. Take a shot at you. Yeah. There you go. I was oh, not. I was not, not by not the way. Full there's school. no way you'd have done that. I don't think there's so. No, no. There's, there's no one that works at the ticket any place that I, mm -hmm. that I know that would have, oh, would have been so. trying to slide by. 
Oh, yeah. I thought that you meant there would be the worst of the ticket that would pick up cucumbers. No, they all would. Okay. Yeah, we're, okay. We're, we're cucumber people here. Yeah, we are yeah, pickers. We are, we are yeah, pro-cucumber. Yeah. We're pickers. We're, we're pickers. <laughs> yeah. We are. Yep. Yeah, I don't think I would try to slide by. I mean, there and and what and I did say mean what I said. There is there's some questionable behavior at airports on planes, but there's a lot of good behavior too. Yeah, a lot there's of, a lot of good. There's behavior. a lot of. Remember, I worked in the. I, I broke the pepper in a in a in a restaurant in Minneapolis, and the lady was unbelievable. Yeah, sweeping mm-hmm. that up. Yeah, yeah was, there's a lot of kind, great people. people. Out there. Yeah, we try. We tend to highlight the negative, but there's a lot of good stuff happening in airports. <laughs> um, how about this on the YouTube stream? BWD fifty one yes. chimes in, says, "Good for Bill. My wife and I once received special VIP tickets to a movie theater at a very prominent." movie theater prominent we were instructed to head to the front of the line we did but then my both my wife and i felt bad for the others uh, really so he he you still cut back you still went ahead of the line <laughs> i still did it though. still did it though. felt bad still did it yeah <laughs> felt bad still did it ask for forgiveness later yeah, yeah. um there you go but no it, it is it, it's it's one of those things there's just certain <laughs> certain things in the line everyone knows it also it, it happened like i said when you go by section so on delta say so i was late flight making this adjustment so you'd be like hey main cabin one so it's main cabin two can now board and there's people you're all kind of standing there and you're all kind of stand there and you all kind of see the order you're going to go in okay yes. so we're all kind of, okay main cabin two and everyone just kind of slowly starts to to go all of a sudden we have a zipper yes Boom! just just blew right by us to okay. get the first one in line like that and i i, I i'm like i i i wanted to give her i gave her a hands up to other people she couldn't see me mm-hmm. i'm like you don't do that also no. whenever time is close Always be the cool person if it's close. Be like, hey, step back. Okay, let that, let that I was going to address that. That's a tough one sometimes. We've reached the age, Bill and I, where if there's a, someone your age, there's a couple times where, go ahead, go ahead, because you're older. You, you're yeah, an older yeah, man. Yeah, older man, yes. Yeah. Well, because you also know, <laughs> I, I, I found it to where I'll say go ahead because I nobody else will. Yeah. Because no, nobody else would be, you, you got to like, if it, in general, too, everyone's really good. There's always one, yeah, there's always one person that wants to make their shot come out of nowhere yep. to come up there. Yeah, that's an awkward, but you're referring to an awkward time. Like when it's close, like should you should I go? No, should she, she go? go? If it's a she, usually let it's, her know. It's real right? simple. What's the what's the etiquette? <laughs> let them go. Yeah. Anytime yeah. it's close, someone but should always if, be like, what go. if he, they're saying let you go? No, you go, you go. That's when I, it gets I a little think awkward. Once you get the, once they, the calls, but whoever makes the call first. So if, go someone, if someone goes to you right away, hey, you go, you take yeah. it. That's just it's, okay. You don't want to get into the fifty different. I mean, it, you go. No, 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 <laughs> right, no. You, right. No, no, you don't. Once the, I, no, I don't when you kind of acknowledge it, or, or or it's the double back. Hey, you go. No, seriously, you go first. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. If that's there's it. nothing said and the person just goes, then it's like okay. Well, yeah, sh- Sh- lot, Shane yeah. and Waverly makes a good point. Uh, before we get to the game show, flight land seatbelt sign turns off. The people that try to jump ahead to get off the plane before their turn drive me crazy. Oh, that's yeah. been a bugaboo. Then, yeah. then, then, I agree bugaboo. because then you have then you have the folks standing there with like their backpack on that they use as their carry-on standing in the aisle, which are narrow enough as they are. You can't get through. Oh, if you want to- and then it's the excuse me. And then you got people awkwardly bending over random strangers and being like, sorry, excuse me. Sorry. Yeah. We that I didn't have it in as a as a them's fighting words, but it would be the people that think that just because they're in the aisle that they leave first. <laughs> I'm I, I'm like, no. It goes by row, man. We don't all of a sudden. Yeah. Also, when I would get out, I'd always like the other day. I'm always like, I always stand back and I'm, I'm like, no, let them all go. Let them all out. First. I'm that let way too. Go. Let them go. I'm not going to try to zip no, out I'm of not. here. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a heart surgeon. I'm not on call. No, I'm not. I'm not doing some sort yeah. of, you know, where all, all of a sudden it's like, I'm that tight. Uh, Disc Golf Jake says the people that jump up to get off are the same people who clap when the plane lands. So there you go. That is uh, Bill's Thrills on a Them's Fighting Words Wednesday. Shout out one. to our sponsors, Mid Plains Advisors, Dirk, Scott, and Ty. Give them a call today, 402 730 7387. The Cash Cows, the ATMs of Lincoln. All right, guys, it's time to get to the game show. We're a little bit behind schedule, but that's okay. Not really, it's about 25 minutes. Yeah, we're, we're just fine. We're just fine. Um, it's time to get to the game show. <laughs> On a wild card Wednesday, <coughs> slogans. I will tell you the slogan. You need to tell me the company that uses that slogan. Hit and miss. Could nail them all. There you go. Could miss them all. I love if, it. if you feel yeah, good I about like it, it if, if you feel good about it, give us a call. 464-5685. Yeah. Shut up. Simple starts right now. I like it. We've all been there. You're listening to the radio, and then that rage starts to grow inside of you. It starts to consume you. It gets to a point where you just want to yell, shut up, Simple. <laughs> <clears throat> no, sorry. I'm sorry. 
Well, here's your chance. It's time to shut up, Sipple. Call now to play 464 5685. Shut up, Sipple. Brought to you by Bagels and Joe. That is right. It's time. Business box to bagels on the line, courtesy of our friends at Bagels and Joe. Con- or, uh, topic today slogans on a wild card Wednesday. We have Brad who's joining us on the Honda Lincoln Hotline. Brad, Brad. how do we feel about slogans? Feeling good. All right. Mm. We'll see how it goes. All right, Brad, wow. first okay. one. First one to you. What ma- what car manufacturer used the slogan everything we do is driven by you? Uh, Hyundai. <laughs> I it love is, the gas. It is not Hyundai. Would you guys Hyundai. like to try that one? I have nothing. No. Hard pass. Pass. Yeah. It is Ford. Ford. Everything you do is driven by you. It is wow. not. They're not current. They're not all current slogans. Yeah, that These might are, have been later. Yeah, have that might have been earlier. Earlier. Yeah. Ford. Yep. Yeah. Yep. yep. Everything we do <laughs> is driven by yeah. you. Ford. It's not the built Ford yeah. tough because yeah. that would have been too obvious. Yeah, that's true. All right. Simple. First one to you. What breakfast food was considered the breakfast of champions? That got to be Wheaties. That is correct. Agreed. Wheaties is correct. All right. They still have Wheaties. Yes. They yes, still. they do. They do. It was All always right. cool to be on the box. If yes. like, you see you're Bruce right. Jenner. Bruce Jenner. That's the first one I thought of, too. <laughs> yeah. All right, now Brad. Caitlin. Caitlin down, Jenner. Down, Jenner. Down, <laughs> down by one. Things one, changed. one to zero <laughs> to, to tie it. What uh-huh. fast food restaurant coined the phrase Live Moss? Uh, Taco Bell. Yeah, yeah. That is Taco Bell. Nice that is job. correct. We're all tied up, all tied one up. to one. Okay, seeing th- is, now this, things is have for, gotten real. Is this for the win? This is for the win. Things if have gotten you guys real. Get it incorrect, yeah. then uh, Brad can steal. Okay. What slogan? Or excuse me, what company uses the slogan "Save money, live better"? Oh, Bill, I need you here. Save money, live better. Mm. Bill is in the back pocket. Save money. Save money. Live better. I have a guess. Da, da, da. Go ahead. I don't have anything. Is that E.F. Hutton? Is it E.F. Hutton? <laughs> it is not E.F. Hutton. Is Brad, would you Hutton? like to steal that one or go to the tiebreaker? Let's go to the tiebreaker. It is Walmart. Save money. Live better. Okay. Walmart. Okay. Yeah, there it is. They Should have known Walmart. that. They didn't really kill it with the... With the catchy one. <laughs> nope. No. No. All right. No. All right. No, so it's not catchy at the, all. The tiebreaker. Nike's slogan, just do it, is one of the most famous slogans of all time. What year was it created? Oh, hold it. Are, are we? Are we? Uh, let's have you guys pick the year, and we'll have Brad go either before that time or after that year. Once again, the question, just Nike's slogan, do just do it, is one of the most recognizable slogans of all time. What year? Was just do it created? We'll have Bill and Sip guess. Bill is still in the back pocket, so that's why they can they can converse. They will guess the year, and Brad will go over before or after that guess. Go in between it somewhere. I'll say 1984. He says 1984. Brad, do you believe that just do it was created before 1984 or after 1984? We're going to guess after 1984. That is correct. Brilliant. 1987 was when the Nike slogan, Just Do It, was created by a young man named Dan Wyden. I'll tell you the story of how it was created in just a moment. Brad, appreciate you playing, man. Stay on the line. Josh, we'll get your information. You went a business box with bagels, be bagels and Joe. If you're the guy that did, what would you do? I, I named Just, just, just do, do It. it. I did it. Nike. There it is. Yeah. So, so how about this? This is how they came up with Dan Wyden. Wyden came up with the slogan "Just Do It." There was an ad. There was a documentary that he told this story. He confessed that the idea for the "Just Do It" line was sparked by the last words of a convicted murderer, Gary Gilmore, who said, "Quote: Let's do it to the firing squad right before his execution." Interesting. That is how wow. Nike came up with the slogan, Just Do It, in 1987. Gary Gilmore just said, let's do it. Just let's do it, right before to the firing squad. There you go. That's a little dark. dark. I would agree with you there. So there you go, gentlemen. Good stuff. Let's do this. You guys are now two and one on the week after after following today. that one. Yep. Slogan. Secure it. Save money, live better. Walmart. Interesting. There you go. Spillover with uh, Raph coming up next. You're listening.
listening to Early Break with Steve Sippel, Jake Sorensen, and Bill Bush on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Homeowners, is your yard in distress? Is your lawn being held hostage by stubborn and unruly weeds? Never fear, lawn lovers. Weed Man is here. We'll rescue your lawn and restore its beautiful emerald green glory. The results of our expertly applied program are sure to impress the toughest of critics, your neighbors. Take that, Dale. Vanquish weeds and transform your lawn this year with Weed Man Lawn Care. Get 50% off your first application. Go to weedman.com today. Terms and conditions apply. Go to weedman.com today. Looking for a job that feels like family? Join Lincoln Industries, where tradition meets innovation. They're a family-owned, privately held manufacturing company with a passion for excellence and a commitment to their community. They have openings on all shifts at both the main plant and air park facilities, offering flexibility to fit your schedule. Whether you're a seasoned professional or just starting out, there's a place for you there. At Lincoln Industries, they invest in their people's success, providing opportunities for growth and advancement. Apply now and become a part of something special at Lincoln Industries. At Union Bank, People don't have your money. Your money has people. First home people, investment people, people people, people who answer the phone and your chats, dream car people, dream retirement people, driving your dream car in your dream retirement people, small business people, credit card people, and all the other people you need. At Union Bank, our people help you do more than you dreamed possible. So stop in and say hello. We can't wait to see you. Union Bank and Trust, member FDIC. Gaina Trucking is hiring CDL Class A and B drivers. Gaina Trucking guarantees a 40-hour work week year-round. And their strong team culture makes it not a job, but a career. Gaina Trucking offers health, vision, and dental insurance, 401k with company match, an employee assistance program, and other bonus programs. Build a better career today with great team culture at Gaina Trucking. Learn more and apply today at gainatrucking.com. Have you been accused of a crime? Is your freedom at stake? At Liberty Law Group, we are committed to the defense of liberty for those accused. Facing criminal charges is stressful, overwhelming, and full of uncertainty. At Liberty Law Group, we believe in treating every person with respect, compassion, and understanding. When legal troubles are keeping you up at night, trust Liberty Law Group to fight your battles. To learn more, call 877-42-LIBERTY. That's 877-42-LIBERTY. The Red White Spring Game is coming soon. Do you know your tailgate meal for before and after the game? Fuhrer's Cheese Spread is the dip that brings everyone together to celebrate something for all Nebraskans made in Nebraska. And it goes well with crackers, meats, soups, and more. How could you tailgate without it? Get to your local grocery store today and load up on Fuhrer's Cheese Spread. No spring game party or tailgate is complete without it. Ninety-three seven. The ticket. Fox KFXL weather. Brought to you by Bryant Air Conditioning, Heating, Electrical, and Plumbing. Your Lincoln forecast for today. We'll see mainly sunny skies, and it will be breezy, an afternoon high around seventy-three. Tonight, a chance of showers and storms. We'll roll around forty-five. And tomorrow, we'll see a few showers in Lincoln, gradually becoming partly sunny by the afternoon. See a high around fifty-eight. A meteorologist Kyle Tucker for ninety-three point seven. The ticket and the ticket FM.com. Tanner's Bar and Grill is the perfect place to watch your favorite MLB teams this spring and summer, as well as Nebraska baseball. Enjoy Tanner's delicious hamburgers, chicken lips, and daily specials. And wash it down with one of their tons of options of beers. You'll never have an issue finding the game as there are TVs everywhere throughout the space. So get in early and grab your spot and settle in for an afternoon or evening of baseball at Tanner's Bar and Grill, 30th and Yankee Hill. The fans of Kansas Speedway know how to have a good time. One that celebrates fantastic finishes and family-friendly facilities. Trading paint. We got beauty. And tailgating tradition. Burnouts, beer, and barbecue. Oh, it'll for sure be a good time. And you are all invited. NASCAR weekend at Kansas Speedway, May 4th and 5th. Get your tickets now at kansasspeedway.com. Spring often marks the beginning of severe weather, which can lead to power outages. LES wants you to be prepared before the storm. Restock your emergency kit. 
Update your info with LES. And if you encounter an outage, report it at LES.com slash report. Okay, it's time to sell the house. How do we even begin to choose from the hundreds of realtors in town? Easy. We make a pros list. You mean a pros and cons list? No, just a pros list. We need someone with pro photography to showcase the house in the best possible way. Pro marketing to make sure we get maximum exposure. Pro negotiations so we know we get the best price. This is one of those times where you already know the right answer, isn't it? You know it is. Ben Blecker and Professional Realty Group. Contact Ben Blecker and the team at Professional Realty Group of Berkshire Hathaway's Home Services Ambassador online at prg-ne.com. We're on the air. Back. Well, party's starting early today, isn't it? To more of Early Break with Sip and Jay, brought to you by Gaina Trucking. <laughs> on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. We're back here on Early Break on The Ticket. Nick Sainer filling in for Jake Sorensen. If the folks have not heard... Jake became a father this morning. The baby has landed. 627. They'll let you know the name in a few days. Uh, 627 a.m. this morning. Seven pounds, nine ounces. Beautiful baby girl. Healthy. Healthy. Most importantly, mom and baby doing great, according to Jake Sorensen. Been texted back and forth a little bit. Jake got a tea time today, I wonder, later. I, well, they were saying that he texted them 10 minutes. After it was it was born, they were she was born. Yeah, how appropriate? Minutes. How appropriate? Six twenty six twenty seven. Right. Just, hold on but... one second, Elizabeth. I'm, I got to text. I got to text the guys. <laughs> that's what, that's what <laughs> but it's kind of nice. It was during early break. Yeah. Right? There you go. Yeah. During early. Sounds break. like a new breaker. Something like that. Yeah, we have a new breaker. There it is. And a Ralph's roadie. Yeah. No. R- Ralph, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Welcome to the studio. Thank welcome you. to work. I love it. You have a day ahead. You got what? Are you, what are you guys going to discuss today? Oh, we're going to talk some football. There was a press conference yesterday. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You break that down. Break that down a little bit. It might even talk a little NBA basketball. Just like a touch. I mean, just a sconch. Just a sconch. I'll, I'll be honest. I actually tuned in for about a quarter yesterday. Just a sconch. I could talk a little bit about the uh, Pelicans and Lakers. Why did they sit? <laughs> Oh, okay. Brandon Ingram. God, good job. You rescued me. Why did they sit Ingram? No Brandon idea. Ingram. No idea. Brandon There's a Ingram. problem. We, we probably He's not saw. Her. We, He's we, not her. We, we probably saw Clay Thompson play oh, his last gosh. game with the Warriors last night. Oh, that's he, bad. He what? finished 0 for 10. <laughs> 0 for 10 from the field. Zero points in a loss to the Sacramento Kings. Yeah, that was bad. Yeah. So there you have it. So, so, uh, so the... Warriors are done, done, or do they? Warriors play? are done, done. Because I couldn't understand the so, Lakers so one. Like the Lakers, the, if they lost, yep, they so, played. So that was the seven seed versus the eight seed. So the winner of the seven eight gets the seven seed. Okay. The loser of the seven eight plays the winner of the nine ten. Oh. And the winner of the what would be in this case the the Pelicans and the Kings, whoever wins that game will play or will be the eight seed. Okay. So tonight. Like the Bulls, for example, are the so if you are seven, eight, or nine, yeah, you are excuse me, no, if you're just seven, eight, or the winner of the nine, ten game, nine, ten, you're okay. You're okay, because I was I was confused a little bit because it was a play-in game, but they were like, if the Lakers lose, they play, which I think the Lakers might have wanted to lose because now they have to play the Nuggets. Potentially. Yeah, but guys, <laughs> that was very unclear. Well, well, guys, it was. NBA I, is unclear. It. I, I don't apologize for watching the NBA. It seems like we're oh, doing. I that. don't. I don't I, watch. Why it. are we doing that? By the way, I I had DraftKings last night. I'll be honest. Okay. <laughs> hey Nick, why are Draft you? Kings is, why are you saying it that way? That I I, I, I admit fan, it's I watched, fantasy. I did fantasy. Okay. okay. Sorry. Why did you say I admit I watched the NBA? Can't you just watch well, the NBA? Because I had that was the first time I've watched the NBA this season. Not that I, I'm not saying I haven't kept tabs on the NBA, but sat down and watched a game. That it's, was the first one. It's playoff time. Zion, I'm not making Zion, any... Zion went off for 40. Yeah. And then he but got, he got hurt injured. Late. Yeah. yeah. A little grimace. Grimace. He got hurt late. I'm going to watch the playoffs. I like the playoffs. I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm on a, why? It's NBA. But what, what's the deal? Ralph? I don't know. I'm just sort of lost, lost interest in the NBA. Have you had interest in the past? Oh, yeah. Back in the day. I remember back in the 80s. I mean, Lakers, 
Lakers, Bur- Lakers, Celtics. Oh my gosh, those are must see television. When did you start to fade out? Um, probably two thousand and I'm trying to think of the last one that maybe I watched. You know, the last one I watched was probably the um the Golden State Golden State Cleveland Cavs. Yeah. So Nick LeBron, that would have been, LeBron got his title. Yeah. Teron Lou got his title. Was I it, was done. Was that oh. in that 2014 to 16 was range? Was it that long ago? That's been a while. Say it again. 16, 2016. Wow. Holy so that's when you begin to fade that's out. That was the last years. that was the last one I watched. That was hmm. like that was kind of must see TV. LeBron coming back from three, three games to one. I'll watch yeah, playoff. Teron Lou celebrating former Husker. I'll yeah. watch playoff basketball. I'll watch tonight. I'll watch the Chicago Bulls. Mm-hmm. I'll watch them. They face off against the the Atlanta Hawks tonight. Okay, as in the, as they the Bulls are the nine seed, so they're in that nine ten game. Games played at the United Center, so they got to win. Yeah, they do. They need to win. Oh, Josh, to sorry, bud. Um, <laughs> I I also think um it's something interesting to talk about. Speaking of NBA, it's fifty seven and twenty five. Yeah, nobody's no. Very few people are talking. About one it. seed. Oklahoma City is the number one seed. The, in the number West. one seed in the West. Oklahoma City. The Warriors were six games above five hundred, I believe, and they were the ten seed. So that tells you about the West. Mark Dagnot, 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 the head coach for Oklahoma City. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So his wife used to be a gymnast for the University of Florida. So I met Ashley, oh, probably about mm, 12, 13 years ago, and then Small World. I Small World. I talked to um Don't the yawn. the gymnastics coaches for um Florida. Uh, Adrian Burde Owen Field. They used to coach at Nebraska here. So they went down to Florida. Their assistant coach is down there. And they're like, oh, yeah, Ashley, she's leaving. She's moving to Oklahoma because her husband's the uh, coach for the Oklahoma City Blue team. The Thunder. That Well, what's the, oh, the, hold the on. team? The the minor league team. The oh, Oklahoma okay. Blue, the Blue. G League. Okay. So then he coached there for like, I don't know, three or four years. And then he got promoted up to become the Oklahoma City head coach. So gotcha. now they're the first in the first family of Oklahoma City. Uh, by the way, Heavenly Waffles is here. Yes. They are here from 8 to 11 p.m. Not p.m. A.m. Simple is already done with his waffles. It was chicken it was, and waffles. It was. Hello. Was it? Well, it's chicken and waffle. There you Hello. go. It was, it was, it with was with a little bit of uh, gravy, it yes. looks like. Yes. It appeared. So, oh, yeah. so come on down. 8 to 11 a.m. They are here. Somebody asked on the text line, Heavenly Waffles today? A resounding yes. Heavenly Waffles Bobby today. Kathy. 8 to 11 a.m. All right. Simple. We're out of here, man. We did it tomorrow. We did it. We we did it. Look at us. We'll do it again. We'll do it again. Plenty to talk about. Absolutely. Got plenty of stuff to talk about for Bill Bush, Steve Sipple. I'm Nick Sainer. The drive with AD Raf AG coming up next. It's just going to be Raf and myself today. We'll talk to you guys in just a few minutes on 93.7 The Ticket. Nipco is hiring CDL drivers for ready mixed concrete, Husker concrete and Beatrice concrete. NEBCO offers great pay, medical and retirement benefits, paid time off, and they pay for CDL training. 